next presentation of River Dragons Hockey is brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelmo Zip Bed, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. And Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. Now, let's send it to the broadcast booth with the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan. Hello, everyone, and welcome in to Columbus River Dragons Hockey. I'm Tom Callahan. Thank you so much for joining me here as we are at the Columbus Civic Center tonight. Military Appreciation Night. Already the building beginning to pack up. Less than 100 tickets remain for this game here tonight. So if you're coming on your way down here, check. See you at the box office if we will have tickets left by the time you get here. But if you're not already on your way down here, well, maybe, maybe not. Not entirely sure, but this game always so incredibly popular and it's always a great chance the River Dragons able to bring out the men and women who are stationed over at Fort Moore. They have a great night out. We had the Armor versus Infantry game earlier, which was won by Armor 7-2. And we live stream that here on the YouTube side and then we're looking forward right now to this matchup tonight, the rematch from last night's 7-6 barn-burning OT thriller that the River Dragons won in the extra session thanks to Justin McDonald's game-winning goal. And the River Dragons come out with a huge, huge win in overtime against Mississippi yesterday, and the Seawolves just refused to go quietly in that game. Columbus would pull ahead, Mississippi would tie it up. That happened twice. Then Mississippi took the lead, Columbus tied it up. Then the River Dragons had a 6-4 lead in the third. Well, Mississippi came back again and forced the overtime. So no lead is safe against either one of these two high-powered teams as they come in tonight, and the River Dragons come in on top of the Continental Division and tied for the lead in the FPHL. 22-3, 2-2-1, 74 points for Columbus this year. A plus 65 goal differential, which is second in the league, and 145 goals for, which is also second in the league. However, Mississippi, 13-15, 2-2-2, 49 points. Yes, a long way back of the River Dragons, 25 points away, but 140 goals for when it comes to Mississippi. Now, why are they in fourth, you ask me, Tom? Well, because 152 goals against. So they have a minus 12 goal differential, despite having the third most goals scored in this league. It is live by the sword, die by the sword with the Seawolves. They can stay in any hockey game, but the problem is sometimes they play themselves out of the hockey game. It goes both ways with this team, but offensively, they can catch you in a hurry. They showed it last night a couple of times, and the River Dragons need to be more aware of that. I think there was a really a communal sense in the locker room for the River Dragons of, we're glad we scored as much as we did. Felt good cashing in on the opportunities, going three for six on the power play last night. The disappointment for this team was in the fact that they ended up with six goals against. Felt maybe they shouldn't have uh, given that many up. And to be quite honest with you, were it not for the tremendous play of Blake Weirich in last night's game, could have been nine goals for the River Dragons. Maybe even looking at double digits because Columbus had so many great A chances and Weirich just absolutely standing on his head, making some incredible saves. And for the River Dragons, I mean, you've got to feel good. The chances are there offensively, but now the challenge comes defensively. Can this team clean it up in its own end? Can they shut down this high scoring Mississippi Seawolves hockey team who are a little short handed here tonight. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a name for the past coming back as a celebrity player and we'll explain what that means as well if you're not familiar with it in the FPHL. But River Dragons fans will be excited to see a blast from the past out there. We're going to discuss that plus in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show, we have a chance to look at that Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard, which is an awful busy one on a Saturday. And of course, we have our chat with River Dragons head coach, Jerome Bichard. So the troops are filing in, the fans are filing in. It's always a tremendous night of action here for Military Appreciation Night. We appreciate you being here and being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. If you're driving and listening to the pregame show on the radio side, 106.9 really rocks. Thank you so much. And if you're checking us out on YouTube tonight at Columbus River Dragons, we also appreciate you being there or as part of our TV coverage on Beam 7. 
All right, time to take our first break of the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. When we come back, we're going to tell you who is that familiar face that's back in a River Dragons uniform tonight. Stay tuned. We'll tell you exactly who it is on the other side of the break. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Introducing New Starry Lemon Lime Soap. Music to my ears. You don't have ears. Story. It's different. Good internet. For a limited time, get super fast internet and YouTube TV starting at just $82.98 per month. Wow. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Back here at the Columbus Civic Center, Tom Callahan here with you in this Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. And everyone continuing to file in. We are getting a little closer to dropping the puck here. And boy, well, you can feel the excitement mounting in the building after last night's 7 6 overtime win for the River Dragons. The goals just kept pouring in. It also got feisty and physical in that one last night. And you have to imagine that will be a part of tonight's game as well. These two teams, to put it simply, don't like one another. When they're out there on the ice, the rivalry certainly heats up. Although lifetime, I will mention the River Dragons have a record against Mississippi of 19 and one. The Seawolves are an expansion team last year. And even into this year, the River Dragons just seem to have just enough of that Seawolves number that they've been able to win 19 of the 20 matchups between these two teams so far. Columbus comes in on a 10-game Tim Hortons win streak. Join Tim's rewards today and get any flavored medium cold drink in your first week when you sign up. Visit TimHortons.com or download the app in your app store. And on that 10-game heater, well, you look at the Seawolves, who, by the way, even with the overtime point last night, are at 7-2-1 in their last 10, and they're trying to make a charge up the standings as well. But definitely the pack is beginning to separate now. Port here on a Mississippi are pulling further and further away from Blue Ridge and Baton Rouge. So it kind of looks like the Continental Division playoff chase is now turning into a race for seeding. Here's the other thing. We know Carolina has been hampered by whether it's call-ups, injuries, player loans, whatever it is. Guys have been out of the lineup for Carolina and Carolina 6-3-1 and one in its last 10. Not only slipping a little further back of Columbus, but now Port Huron is just 10 points behind Carolina. Mississippi is 11 points behind Carolina. And I still think it's a 1-2 race between Columbus and Carolina for the top of the division, but, well, I guess you never know how things could pan out here, depending on if it continues to go that way for Carolina. So I want to talk about, number one, the FPHL has a special concept of a celebrity player. What does that mean? It means that an organization can sign a player to a one game contract and he can appear for that team. Dress does not count against any of their limits, whether it's you know veterans, rookies, 
uh, salary cap or roster limits, any of that. None of that with the celebrity player. They, they sign the contract to come in, play the game. They can dress the extra player for the game. And tonight for the River Dragons, this is an interesting one because I actually asked head coach Jerome Bichard about this. Before tonight's game, we were just chatting, and he said this was not planned. But it just so happens that the River Dragons celebrity player for tonight is Paul Frazio. That's right. Last year, Paul Stepped away from the game after the season with the River Dragons. You know him as wearing number seven. He'll wear number 32 tonight, but Paul Frazio is back down here. I got to catch up with him a little bit earlier today, and uh, he's doing extremely well for himself in the city of Nashville these days. Of course, a place where I spent several years, and uh, we had a good conversation, but he also said, hey, you know what? I've been playing a lot, been riding my bike to work. He feels like he's in pretty good shape, and it's not like he's just... Uh, quote unquote jumping off the couch here. So Frazio looks to get into the game here tonight and make an impact for the River Dragons if he can. He's wearing number 32 out there in the specialty River Dragons military jerseys. And if you want to get in on the auction for the specialty jerseys, check out the Dash app. That's right, the Dash app is where you will find all of the River Dragons auction items and if you text the word DASH to 66866, that's 66866, set up your account and then select Columbus Sports as your favorite, you will get all the notifications about when all the River Dragon stuff goes live, when things are coming up, you'll be kept in the loop, and you'll be able to track your bids on these special Fort Moore military jerseys the River Dragons are wearing here this evening. So that's great news for the River Dragons to get defenseman Paul Frazio in, at least for a game as their celebrity player for tonight. He was here last night mingling with some of the crowd and talking to some folks here. I know the fans are absolutely delighted to see him. They still love Paul Frazio here in Columbus, Georgia. And uh, boy, fantastic just seeing him uh, today. Just Always brings a smile in wherever he's going. So it's good to see him, and hopefully he will indeed have an impact in the game here tonight. So the River Dragons do have the extra player dress tonight. Matter of fact, in warm-up, they had quite a few extra players out there taking the warm-ups tonight. And one of the ones we're not going to know probably until right before puck drop, Carter Shinkarik is a game-time decision. So we'll see what comes out of it for him if he's going to dress this evening. And, uh, of course, Frejo again, doesn't count against that. But last night, Brody Duncan made his debut with this hockey team, and he is out there as well. And uh, Carson Andrioli probably not drawing in. Sequoia Swan probably not drawing in tonight. Jay Krupp is out there. He expects to draw in. So we'll try to keep you up to date on all those lineup changes as they happen and let you know as we try to stay on top of everything. All right, let's take another break here in the Air Force Seating and Air pregame show. When we come back, we're going to look at that out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In, and then, of course, our chat with River Dragons head coach, Jerome Bichard. Stay tuned. More coming your way. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low, but you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for four dollars. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years.
juice on the Chick-fil-A app. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Back here in the Air Force Seeing and Air pregame show. Tom Callahan here with you, and warm-ups completed before tonight's game. And we're going to get ready to drop the puck just about 20 minutes from now as the two teams off the ice for warm-ups. We have some special pregame ceremonies uh, that we're going to hope to carry live for you here and uh, make sure that we're able to show you everything that's going on here this evening. Looking forward to it. It's going to be just a fantastic evening. I know a lot of folks still coming in. I know a lot of folks are still in line, maybe getting their, their beverage or coming into the building here tonight. And uh, just, uh, I mean, be patient. It's a packed building. And, uh, you know, very limited seats remaining at this point. But I do know there are still some that are available uh, as of this moment. But uh, it's getting down there as far as tickets available at the box office here as this game creeps towards a second consecutive sellout for this River Dragons team on Military Appreciation Night. Let's take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard, which is brought to you by Zelmo's Zip In. Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. At the end of the first period here, about 30 seconds before the end of the first period, the Carolina Thunderbirds are out to a 1-0 lead over the Danbury Hattricks in the early going of that game. Coming up at the top of the hour here at 7 o'clock, you've got the Baton Rouge Zydeco at the Blue Ridge Bobcats. Also tonight, the Elmira River Sharks, game two at McMoran Arena against the Port Huron Prowlers. And at 7.30 at Watertown Arena, Motor City is at the Watertown Wolves. In the National Hockey League today was the All-Star Game. And the way it went, the first two games both went to a shootout where Team McDavid beat Team McKinnon 4-3. So Team McDavid advances to the final. And then Team Matthews beats Team Hughes 6-5 in a shootout. Setting up the final between Team McDavid and Team Matthews. And it was there that Team Matthews dominates a 7-4 win for Team Matthews in the All-Star competition here today. So how about that? Fantastic is the NHL All-Star Weekend. Always a lot of fun. And uh, they now will get back to regular action coming up on Monday. No games tomorrow in the National Hockey League. And then on Monday, you'll have the Avalanche at the Rangers and the Islanders at the Maple Leafs. NCAA College Hoops. Men's basketball here. Let's get a refresh in on this. See what's going on right now. Number 15, Texas Tech. Late in the first half leading Cincinnati 30 to 27. Number 16, Auburn at the half trails Ole Miss 44-32. Auburn had a rough loss last week and now Ole Miss with a nine point lead at the half. Other games going on right now. Number 20, Florida Atlantic 33-24 over Tulsa late in the first half. At the half, number 22, BYU 38-29 over West Virginia. Early in the first, number seven, Duke Trailing number three, North Carolina, 13-8. Games coming up later tonight include number 12, Iowa State at number 18, Baylor. Number five, Tennessee at number 10, Kentucky. You got Mississippi at number 24, Alabama. And then finals from earlier today, number one, UConn beats St. John, 77-64. Number nine, Marquette, 91-57 over Georgetown. Number 25, TCU loses to Texas, 77-66. Number 17, Utah State loses to San Diego State, 81-67. Number four, Houston beaten by number eight, Kansas, 78-65. And number 23, Oklahoma losing to UCF, 74-63. So that's a look at that Zelmo Zip and out of town scoreboard. Now, generally at this point, we would try to kind of stretch things out a little bit here and then get to our chat with River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichard, but we're not gonna do that. Today we're actually gonna go to the break and then get to our chat with Coach Bichard so that we are back here for the special opening ceremonies here tonight, including our puck drop and some other things that we've got planned. So we'll go ahead and get to that chat right now. Stay tuned and then we will be getting ready for first period action. River Dragons and the Seawolves coming up in just a little bit. This is the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show on River Dragons Hockey. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money. 
make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic Mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Yeah. She said yes. Yeah. <laughs> so fast, so reliable, so much to love. For a limited time, get Internet One Gig for just 50 bucks a month. Wow. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app. Only at Tim Hortons. I'm thirsty. Try this. Starry. It's a new lemon-lime soda that's crisp, clear, and... So refreshing. So tasty. What the... Just let it happen. He was a soda. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. It's different. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Welcome back in the Air Force Heating and Air pregame show. We're joined by River Dragons head coach Jerome Bichar. Boom, first and foremost, it's military night tonight, and I want to start with that. Just your thoughts about the River Dragons taking time out to celebrate and appreciate the military community. Yeah, you know what? It's, uh, uh, everybody looks forward to this every year. Cello crowd. Um, I get to see my, my military hockey team get rolling, all the guys that I kind of play men's league with, so that's kind of fun. And uh, you know what, it's just a, a, a nice way to, uh, you know, kind of thank them for everything that they do so we can uh, come to the Civic Center every day and, and play hockey and see a hockey game, and they uh, provide uh, us uh, the ability to do that. Also, they provide a, a sold-out barn. I mean, it's loud in here tonight. It's going to be packed. Well, energy, yeah, no, it's going to be energy as far yeah. as that goes. But I mean, they. I mean, I'm. I'm more on the other side. Sure. Staying thankful for what they do. But no, the energy in here. Uh, you know, when the when the trainees uh, do the creed, um, it's just uh, it's electrifying, and your hair stands up, and your on the on the back of your uh, neck so it's it's pretty cool well and that was actually that was me leading into a point about tonight's game is when you have a team that comes in that can be that jacked up i mean everybody wants to go out and you know put on a show for the guys and and you know high energy game uh how do you approach that with the team what do you tell them well it's gonna it can be good or bad i mean i think uh you know if we talk about what happened last night last night seven six game you know not crazy about uh um Love the fact that we won. Not crazy the outcome as far as the the score per se. You know, had the game uh, won like two or three times and allowed them to crawl back in, um, and that was due to some undisciplined penalties, some, maybe some bad calls, some good bounces on on their on their part. But uh, um, when you throw in you know 7,500 people in here, military night, everyone jammed up. Um, Maybe the energy level might be even higher than it was last night. It was pretty high, and um, you know, uh, we, I guess it'll be interesting to see what type of game the referees call because they, I, I don't think I've been in a part of a game where there was twelve minors on each team, uh, which was a lot. Uh, the last time I was probably involved in that was uh, back in when they first when they started calling the actual rules, whenever that was, oh seven, oh eight, or nine, or whatever. Um, you know, it was pretty. It was pretty tough sledding there. But uh, um, last night was, yeah, it was kind of back and forth. Uh, power play, penalty kill, power play, penalty kill um, on both sides. So, anyways, we'll see what happens. And the interesting thing was, there was no indication of that in the first period. There was two minors whistled. Both were towards the end of the period. Yeah, you really didn't see that coming. Yeah, no. And then all of a sudden, they just set the standard that uh, uh, you know this is a whack and uh, that's a slash. I'm like, okay, well. Now you make one bad one, you're going to have to keep going. And they did on both sides. 
um, up into the point where I think, you know, they did miss the interference on Petro and Bersani on their tying goal, uh, which I was pretty uh, not happy about. But uh, and if you're going to call that, you got if you're going to start calling what they called, you got to call that because that was, uh, uh, you know, uh, caused the goal. And so the other thing to bring up, too, I mean, coming into tonight and uh, it's everybody wants to be in for tonight. I know you've got some tough roster decisions to make. How do you go about making those decisions? Yeah, you know what? I mean, uh, a couple guys are banged up. Um, a couple guys are healthy. Um, so uh, just a matter of, you know, flipping a coin, I guess, at this point. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Carter Shinkar kind of game day or ga game time decision. He's going to come try um and and see how it goes i and i elaborated to him i'm like i know it's a big game and i know you want to win and i know you want to play but i mean i'd rather you be healthy than than and uh you know and take a weekend off as opposed to you know you play and we didn't really need you to play and now you're banged up for another two weeks or, or something like that. So um, he's really the only one that's kind of nursing an injury. Um, so that's really the only one. And everybody else is just kind of uh, luck of the draw, I guess. Uh, you know, I know uh, uh, Andy played last night. Uh, Swanee didn't play. Jay didn't play. Um, Jay's probably going to play tonight. And Swanner uh, probably won't because they only have room for one. And then. Uh, you know, Paul Frigio's in town, so we signed him to a celebrity contract, which uh, just worked out that way. I mean, it didn't, uh, it wasn't planned, it wasn't that. You know, he's in town, and I'm like, eh, yeah. Got your skates, kid? Yeah, so he had his stuff. Uh, have, <laughs> Coincidentally. Have hockey, have hockey bag, we'll travel. There you uh, go. <laughs> kind of thing. So, um, anyways, it really, it really was not planned, but uh, um, yeah, so, you know, yeah, we'll have an extra guy because of that. All right. Well, let's look at the keys to the game tonight. You know what? Keys to the game. You know, uh, we obviously scored our goals. Uh, we need to, uh, I guess, be a little bit better defensively. Um, and again, they were a really hard team to play against. Uh, I think our neutral zone, uh, our neutral zone four check or defensive zone coverage or however you want to call it, neutral zone has to be better. Um, we allowed them to get some speed in the neutral zone and. We had guys uh, all go to one guy, and which opened up a couple guys, and that cost us a couple goals. So we need to do a better job identifying uh, um, the puck carrier and, and your man earlier than uh, what we did last night. All right, boom. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck tonight. You bet. Thank you. Back with a drop of the puck in just a moment. This is River Dragons Hockey. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up. Only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. We all dream. But dreams quickly become distant memories. Unless we do something about it do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability, so for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high-quality internet and cable services, because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. 
Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. A little bit. So, if you're on your way in and you're coming in, I also want to pass along, there was a bit of a traffic issue reported here. If you're coming through downtown, uh, it looked like between, I think it was 9th and 10th, and of course now that has disappeared from my screen, uh, so maybe it's been cleared, but 2nd Avenue had a closure between 9th and 10th in downtown. If you were coming down 2nd or coming around that way, maybe you noticed higher than average volume traffic. I'm not sure if that incident was cleared or if it just came off of the notification that I had, but I do know that if you were coming in that way, just give yourself a little extra time, which you do have right now. Normally we'd be dropping the puck here in a couple of minutes. But we push the start time back. It'll be approximately 7.20 to 7.25 here tonight. I know they're still trying to get some folks in the building, still trying to get troops in the building. Uh, plenty of folks in line at the concessions right now. It is Military Appreciation Night here, and uh, we do want to say thank you to everybody who has had a hand one way or another in just making this happen. I mean, bringing an event like this to fruition is not a small endeavor. There are so many people involved, so many entities involved, and we want to say thank you to all the places that make it possible, like Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Brewster's Ice Cream, the Shelby and Wanda Amos Foundation, Jay Arnold, and also Rodwin and Associates, J.A. Marine, Flatiron Arms, also a part of things here, CM Landscaping, also helping out Atlanta Beverage, and of course our pregame show sponsor, Air Force Heating and Air. Uh, just tremendous things that everybody does to just to help folks here in this community. We very much appreciate all that you do, and it helps us say thank you to the men and women in the armed forces, those serving here at Fort Moore. And, uh, I mean, they put their lives on the line. They go through training here, and then they can ship out absolutely anywhere in the world. And we very much appreciate what they do for us and uh, can't say that enough. I know Coach Bichard saying thank you and, uh, I know, just talking to the guys earlier today, there's there's an awful lot of respect uh, for everything that they go through. And, of course, our armor versus infantry game that happened earlier that we did have on the live stream here, I mean, that's always a lot of fun, but get the soldiers who do play hockey a little bit of a chance. And uh, our players went over to the National Infantry Museum here in Columbus, which, by the way, is a fantastic free museum. And if you've never been, I very much encourage it. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. But the National Infantry Museum here, uh, our players went and happened to have a chance to meet and mingle with some of the soldiers that were there. And there was a lot of call outs from some of the soldiers. Hey, anybody here from Minnesota? Anybody here from Massachusetts or New York or Michigan or wherever they happen to be from there trying to find guys uh, who matched up or maybe had played in an area they were familiar with. So uh, I thought that was, it's kind of fun when you realize and you think about it. I mean, these guys come from all over. They're not all from here. And they, you know, just end up here in Columbus, Georgia and have a, a just a, a tremendous impact on the community here in Columbus. So our thanks to them for sure. And we want to remind you River Dragons Hockey is brought to you in part by Columbus Inn and Suites, host hotel of the Columbus River Dragons official host hotel. Pepsi, the official soft drink of the River Dragons. Zilmo Zippin is the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. And Air Force Heating and Cooling, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. As Columbus, if you missed it in the pregame show, coming in on a 10-game Tim Hortons win streak. Join Tim's rewards today and get any flavor medium cold drink in your first week. When you sign up, visit timhortons.com or download the app in your app store today. But the River Dragons, 22, 3, 2, 2, and 1, 74 points. Tops in the Continental. 
and that is tied for the best in the FPHL altogether with those 74 points. Their 822 win percentage is the best over Binghamton as Binghamton, despite having 74 points, has played two more games than Columbus. And so the River Dragons, at 30 games played, have the most games, or have the second fewest, I should say, games played in the FPHL. Baton Rouge has 29. Coming into tonight, Mississippi, 13, 15, 2, 2, and 2. 49 points. And the Seawolves, 7, 2, and 1 in their last 10, so they're picking it up, starting to climb and uh, further themselves right there, nipping at the heels of Port Huron in third. One point behind the Prowlers. But the Blue Ridge Bobcats and Baton Rouge Zynico, this year's two expansion teams, have kind of fallen back a bit in the Continental Division. And I think that that's uh, kind of this is the separation we're going to see as far as the playoffs go right down the line. So a lot of the crowd here enjoying singing along to some John Denver. And <laughs> always fun to hear everybody just having a good time, enjoying themselves and, uh, you know, passing a little time, as I mentioned, but I'll say it again. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of a late start here tonight. We've pushed the start back, so if you are coming in, just know that you've got a little extra time. The River Dragons have pushed that start time back, and uh, that'll give you that extra time to get into the building and go ahead and get settled in here. So in the meantime, it's going to be a little bit of sing-along with the River Dragons, which is always fun. And also for the uh, River Dragons fans who are here, I know there's several out there in the concourse trying to get some uh, some food, some beverage, and you know, lines pretty much everywhere at this point. So don't worry, we'll get you in here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it as military night getting ready to roll in just a little bit here. And again, they've extended the start time. So uh, right now we've got about 12, 13 minutes, I think, before we're going to get to the opening ceremonies for tonight and drop the puck. So going to be a little bit, which is not a bad thing. Uh, that is uh, actually something that I think will give everybody that extra chance to find their seats. And in the meantime, we can go back and take an extra look at the Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard here. Since we have plenty of time to do it, we'll take a look at what's going on with the games around the FPHL. It is one period in the books now at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. 1-0 Carolina leading Danbury. And just about to get underway here. And in fact, now they are underway. Blue Ridge and Baton Rouge scoreless early in that one. And Port Huron and Elmira also dropping the puck just now. Nothing to report in from that game as of yet. And at Watertown Arena, they are also just underway. That is scoreless as well in the early going of the first period. The NHL All-Star game was earlier today. And Team McDavid beats Team McKinnon. 4-3 in a shootout. And yes, Nathan McKinnon did score twice, in fact, for his team. And Connor McDavid did score twice for his team in that one. But Team McDavid, 4-3 winners in that shootout. And then Team Matthews in a shootout, 6-5 over Team Hughes. And Alex Debrinkit with a couple of goals in that particular game. Frankie Vetrano had two. Philip Forsberg had two. Debrinkit with a third to decide the shootout and give the win to Team Matthews. And then, in the final of the All-Star game, Team Matthews defeats Team McDavid 7-4. And I do have word to pass along, just getting a note in here that it is now officially, this game is sold out. So no more seats for tonight's game. It is officially sold out here on Military Appreciation Night. Austin Matthews, by the way, scored twice to help his own team to the win over Team McDavid there in the All-Star Game Final. In men's college hoops, let's see what the updates are here. Texas Tech, a one-point lead over Cincinnati at the half. Number 16, Auburn, now down by four to Ole Miss, just starting the second half of that game. Number 20, Florida Atlantic up on Tulsa by 13 at the half. Number 22, BYU. A 13-point lead over West Virginia just into the second half. Number three, North Carolina, a five-point lead, 31-26 over number seven, Duke. 440 to go in the first half there. Later tip-offs tonight, number 12, Iowa State at number 18, Baylor. Number five, Tennessee at number 10, Kentucky. 
Mississippi State's at number 24, Alabama. Finals from earlier today, number one, UConn keeps right on rolling. They're now 20 and two, 77-64 over St. John's. Number nine, Marquette, 91-57 over Georgetown. Number 25, TCU, beaten by Texas, 77-66. Number 17, Utah State, defeated by San Diego State, 81-67. Number eight, Kansas topples number four, Houston, 78-65. And unranked UCF beats number 23, Oklahoma, 74-63. Folks still filing in here, although I do see more folks in the seats here. And just kind of keeping an eye to see when we're going to get the uh, festivities to start off here. If you are watching on the YouTube side, we'll do our best to make sure that you get to see everything, including we are, and back by popular demand, I will say, we are scheduled to have a couple of Rangers repelling from the Raptors tonight. So we'll make sure that we uh, do our best to capture that event uh, when that happens as well. Plus, of course, the introductions of the team, the starting lineups, Tonight's presentation of the colors and the anthem. And yeah, that's all coming up in just a little bit. The River Dragons, if I may look at the promotional schedule here and talk a little bit about what's coming up here. A week from tonight, it's Youth Hockey Night. And everyone 12 and under, all kids 12 and under, come into the game. While supplies last, we'll get a Tim Hortons, Tim Bits Youth Hockey jersey. Now, you must be present to get your jersey. So just want to put that out there for everybody on Youth Hockey Night. And it is while supplies last. We, we have a limited supply. We're going to give them all away. Uh, but we have Tim Hortons, Tim Bits jerseys to give away on Youth Hockey Night. That's a week from tonight. And that is our next Chick-fil-A Midland Kissin' 99.3 Family 4-Pack game, which includes four tickets to the River Dragons game, four hot dogs, four popcorn, four Pepsi products, and four coupons for Chick-fil-A sandwiches, over $100 in value. Now we're going to throw in Timbits jerseys for just $40. Take advantage of this great deal brought to you by Chick-fil-A Midland, Kissin' 99.3, Buffalo Rock Pepsi, Brewster's Ice Cream, and the Columbus Civic Center. These four packs are available only through the River Dragons office, so pick yours up this coming week. Also, the upcoming four-pack nights, we have three left. February 10th, March 16th, which is Faith and Family Night, and April 13th, Fan Appreciation Night, available only through the River Dragons office. 706-507-4625, 507-4625, or if you want, you can come down and visit us, say hi. We are located in the Columbus Civic Center. Our office is on the west side of the building in the courtyard between the big building and the practice rink. So come on in and we'll be happy to see you as the referees take to the ice. I don't even know if I needed to tell you that just from the reaction, although I suppose you might have thought it could have been the visiting Mississippi Seawolves. So the Columbus River Dragons should be getting ready to come out here. Also in the Columbus community, the River Dragons will be out and about the next eve with the River Dragons event at Chick-fil-A Midland. It will be Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. Again, that's Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 7 p.m. We're also going to be over at Applebee's. This time we're at the 3229 Gentian Boulevard location. This Tuesday, February 13th, 6 to 7 p.m. Or sorry, next Tuesday, February 13th, 6 to 7 p.m. Great chance to meet the team, get pictures and autographs, plus sign up for Club Applebee's and get a free appetizer upon joining, a free birthday treat, and more. See you at Applebee's on 3229 Gentian Avenue. Tuesday, February 13th from 6 to 7 p.m. So plenty of chances to come out. We're moving the Applebee's locations around, trying to get around the Chattahoochee Valley here to visit all the different pockets of fans. And we hope you can make it out to join us for one of those two events. Also want to say, take a moment here and say a special happy birthday to Kristen Buley, River Dragon's own, and uh, also very happy to wish Kristen a happy birthday. And I believe she's celebrating with us here today. And here we go. We're going to turn it on over here as the River Dragons take to the ice. Here's PA announcer Dana Barker.
presented by Chaplain Major Wallace Jackson. Let us pray. Almighty oh God, we take this moment to call before you to give you thanks. You're the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. We come before you by grace and grace alone. We thank you for the privilege of this sport. Lord, may we never forget your goodness in our lives. Father, I pray for safety. I pray that you would be with these men as they play and they play hard and play their hearts out tonight. And Father, that no matter what happens, that we will praise you in the good and the bad. And Father, we thank you for our military. We thank you for all those that have gone before us. May we never forget the broad shoulders that we stand upon. And Father, as we look forward to the next generation, each generation must consider to spill their blood on the battlefield. And Father, that is to finance freedom. We know that. But Father, may we never forget the blood that you spilled through your son, Jesus Christ, who buys our freedom in full for eternity. For whoever believes shall have that gift. And it's through Christ I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you to Major Chaplain Wallace Jackson for tonight's invitation. And now, fans of each standing hands over hearts are saluting as appropriate. Of our national anthem performed tonight by the Military Maneuver Center of Excellence Band.
Complete with a rappel to bring in the puck for the ceremonial puck drop. Great job, by the way, to the crew here on the River Dragons broadcast. Fantastic job. Jonathan Jones and Emily Green on the cameras tonight. Got Zylik Lane. To my left and to his left, our intrepid producer. Colin Stephen Drew. All right. Well, not everybody has found their seat yet, but that's all right. I know there's still a bunch of folks in line at the concession stands. The lines for the concessions were wrapped around each of the corners, depending on what you wanted to eat. But we got to drop this puck sometime and get it underway. I know folks are still coming into the building, but we are going to start first period action. River Dragons rolling left to right in front of our broadcast location in the specialty black military jerseys. And we are underway. Columbus will push that puck ahead on the left side. Here's Hunter moving in quickly. He slides it across. That one is knocked away by the Seawolves. Up the left side comes Wong in with a long shot. Well wide of Brennan Colgan. River Dragons turn it over though. Chipped right in front across the goal mouth. Not out of danger. Wong with a shot, but that is blocked. Columbus trying to clear it out, kept in by Wong. Wong in with a wrist shot, blocker saved Colgan despite a good screen in front. Now a chance again to the front of the net. Colgan knocked down, puck free to Moore. He'll play it across the ice. And Columbus trying to push in. That one is turned over at center. As both teams trying to work through a change here. Seawolves the other way, will dump it right back into the River Dragons end. Off the glass, kept in left side, Rocco shot, tipped off the goal post by Nelson. A chance on the right side, centering attempt by Koch. Turned away towards the line. Columbus looking to move it out. Here's Petrantonio through center. Bersani knocked down as he tried to get to the puck. Liarakos on it just inside the line. Tips it onto the left wing. Koch centering feed. Columbus can't get it out of there. Turned over. Here's Koch. Chance in front. Went off a skate. Save made by Colgan. Played around to the far side. Puck kept into the right point by Turner. River Dragons. Back on their heels a little bit here to start this game. Mississippi all over them. In the early going, Seawolves bringing some pretty good energy to start here. Here's Gill behind his own net after the puck. Gill onto the right wing ahead to Shinkarik. He'll fire one in, right in on goal. Paddled aside by Anthony D'Aloisio. As we approach two minutes into this first period, Columbus up on the forecheck here, trying to be aggressive. Seawolves looking to move it out to center. 
As it's turned back into the Columbus end of things, Duncan around after it. Buck is banked back behind the net. Turned over though in front. Seawolves a chance from the off angle off the shoulder of Colgan. It wraps its way around and out to center. And once again, the Seawolves push quickly back in left side. Here's Kuznetsov. His shot on goal attempt is deflected away to the corner. Lissio after it there. Slahetka takes a hit. Lissio on the far side. Trying to move that one back down low. Kuznetsov just tackled in the corner there by Bothwell. and Pardon me, Slahetka rather. And Slahetka's going to the box for a holding call. 2.34, time of the holding call. As he goes into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. Let's take a quick look at tonight's starting goaltenders for the River Dragons. It's Brendan Colgan, who's 10-2-0-1 on the season with a 3.06 goals against average and an 8.90 save percentage. He's opposed by Anthony D'Aloisio, 6-4-0-0 with a 4.06 and an 8.97. First power play of the game belongs to the Seawolves. Face off to the right of the River Dragons net, controlled by Columbus. And they'll send that one down the ice. Yesterday, the Seawolves two for seven on the power play. River Dragons went three for six. Columbus still has the best PK in the league, though. 85.6%, sixth on the power play at 22% for the Seawolves. Mississippi trying to move it in. And a battle setting up in the near corner. Puck in front, Doe ends up with it, and he will bank it off and down the ice. Deloisio out to leave it. Turner after it. Columbus quickly to the change here. 3.15 into this first period. No score here. Seawolves on the power play. Puck turned over at center. There's a stretch to Wickline. Bounced off his stick right in on goal. Deloisio had to play it away. Wickline was just that close to a shorthanded breakaway. So Mississippi up the left side. Coach to center. In over the line. Coach hooks it towards a high slot. A bouncing puck in towards the goal. Poked away into the far side. Wick line with the backhand clear. Out it goes. Columbus will change up the penalty killing forwards. Mississippi is going to change its power play unit here. On the left side, they move in here. Stoya leaving it off in space. Learakos up top. Helen. Learakos left side corner. Looking for Nilsson. Nilsson tried to shoot. Had it taken away. A clearing attempt. Hit Helen. Stays in. Helland at the left point around the rim it goes into the left side corner to Nilsson. On to the far wall here, Shinkarik around after it. Puts a body on his man, and that allows a teammate to clear it on down. 17 seconds ago on the power play. This Mississippi may be time for one more rush here as Moore swings by. Moore out there with McDonald. And an errant pass there. That's pretty much the end of the power play for Mississippi. They're going to go 0 for 1. Slahetka out of the box. And Columbus back to five on five here. Able to kill it off. Duncan back into his own end after it, playing it back around. There's Paul Frazio out there for his first shift. Puck into the slot. Shot in the right pad. Saved by Colgan. McDonald after it. And now back the other way. Here's McDonald ahead to Frazio. Frazio carries in over the line. He'll dump it into the left wing corner. Moore over to go get it. To the left point. Poke past Frazio and out to center. Duncan on the right side. Cuts right back in over the line. Duncan leaving it off in space. Bersani with a shot and the save made. Held on to by D'Aloisio. It's going to get us to our first break of the game. Five minutes, 18 seconds into this Chick-fil-A Midland first period of play. We are scoreless. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hello there. My name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. 
do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. t-shirt toss here with some of the members of the armor and infantry teams going out there. Looked like they had some fun being out there. Face off coming up here. Petra Antonio Doe and Krupp out to the left of Taloisio on the Seawolves net. Five on five hockey here. 5-18 into the first. River Dragons with the draw here, spun around to the far side, chased down by Doe. Doe to the left point, it's held in there only momentarily. Seawolves knock it away to center. Columbus on the regroup. Up the left side, it's tipped away from Bershani, and now that'll be dumped in from center by Krupp. That one hit Bersani, now Krupp on the turnover. Bersani took a stick up high, penalty coming. Krupp in with a wrist shot and a blocker save there. Krupp on the rebound, center shot, they score! Austin No right in front during the delayed penalty call. Puts it home on the blocker side. River Dragon strike first, it's 1-0. Great backhand look in front from Jay Krupp as he threads that one through. Austin Doe knows where to go. Right into the slot, his 13th of the year, and a prime shooting location. So the River Dragons convert, will not get the power play because they scored during the delay call. Would have been a high sticking call as Bersani got hit there by the high stick, but Columbus takes a 1-0 lead. Georgia Han and Leo Rocco's talking to the linesman at center here while the referee was over checking the scores table. Now we're ready to go. It is so loud in here, I'm not entirely sure they could hear whatever the linesman was saying. They had to get pretty close together. one nothing Columbus. Here's Wick line up on the four check as they try to go right back to work. Mississippi the other way though, Leo Rocco's. In over the line, it's kicked back to him out of a pile. He's got a rolling puck onto the right side, pushed to the point, and Columbus able to move it to center. Here's Wickline up on the wing. Wickline cutting in a high slot to his right. Curling, waiting, looking for help. Wickline with a backhand into the slot. That one is taken away there. Leo Rocco's trouble with it, though. Lost it to skates, and now can only knock it away to center. Seawolves try to play it ahead. That could be icing. Indeed it is, as Bockwell gets back, and he took a slash there as he went in behind the net from Koch. Didn't like it. And responded. I'll tell you what, Bockwell is not the guy that you want to annoy. He is not afraid. But Koch gave him a pretty good whack as Bockwell went back for that icing touch. Six forty gone here in the first one of the River Dragons. McDonald, Hunter, and Moore out there. Face off coming up to the right of the Seawolves goal. We'll get to our referee introductions here in just a moment. Tied on the dot here's McDonald side of the net puts it in front. Hunter a backhand and the save made there by Hunter. Well, we got to take a moment to talk about the tear that Justin McDonald's on right now. McDonald is on a 20-game point streak. 16 goals, 26 assists, 42 points in the last 20 games, all the way back to December 1st. McDonald is second in the league in points right now, only to Yanni Liarakos. And I'll tell you what, McDonald's just having a heck of a season out there, leads the league in plus-minus. Uh, he's second in game-winning goals. Had the game winner last night in overtime. Just an absolutely phenomenal season 
for Justin McDonald. And the draw one back to the point. River Dragons trying to control here. Turned over. And Turner, left side, here's Kuznetsov. Bank pass on to left wing. A little too far for Koch. Into the corner. There against Lahetka. He turned it up the wall, but falling on the boards there. Moore trying to get it out. And the puck stays in. It's Lahetka back behind his own net after it. And on the right side, there's McDonald. He's ahead at center. Has Hunter going to the net. Flips it for him. Hunter passed just a little too far. He sent it right back up the slot. Ends up at the right point. Moore cutting down the right side, keeping it in. Now Mississippi will clear it back out. Too far for Kuznetsov. Slahetka leaving it on the near boards to Moore. Moore's going to leave it off to the D, and his line is going to change it up here. River Dragons in no hurry to move it. 7.45 gone in the first. One of them, Columbus in the lead. Austin Doe, the goal scorer. Long bank pass ahead to center. Turned away from Bersani, stretching for it. Doe comes up with it. Feeds it back across. Gill will double back inside his own line. Here's Shinkarik. Shinkarik through center. Cuts in on the left side and over the line. Try to bounce it in front. Puck goes behind the net. Wong on the near side. And now Wong takes a hit. But he does get the puck ahead. Russell with a lead on the right side. Helen after it. But Petrantonio gets back first. Golfs it out to center. Bersani feeds it to the right wing. A little too far ahead for Shinkarik, who decided to back up. Play some D. He ends up with the puck at center. Plays it back in. Right side, here's Bersani up on the forecheck. He puts Stoya into the boards. Pins him there. Petrantonio into that pile as well. Mississippi out with the puck, but not out of the zone yet. And now they do get it to center. It ends up with Helen. Helen ahead with Learakos. Gives it to him. Learakos on the left side, cutting it on goal. He scores! Yanni Liarakos in from the left wing side, cuts in front, tucks it around the left pad of Colgan on the backhand, and the game's tied at one. Boy, that was all Yanni Liarakos' individual effort right there. Goal at 8.52. Russell and Helen will pick up the assists. And for Leirakos, boy, he just continues to put up points. Just having an outstanding season. Leirakos came into the game leading the league in goals. That's his 27th. Here's a chance in front of Colgan. That one is knocked away up the middle of the ice. Out to center it goes. It's a race right now between Learakos, Jamaev, and Koch to see who's going to be the first to 30 offside. Whistled down at the River Dragons line. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at oldschoolbarbershoppe.com. Need to get your sides lined up? Check out Old School Barber Shop today. You can book your next appointment online 24-7. Tonight's referees... Brought to you by the Optical Shop in Phoenix City. You should see the game they're missing. Right now, $99 and a bag of chips will get you two pair of eyeglasses. Referee number 59, John Heineman. Number 64, Ken Radolinski. Your linesman, number 96, Corey Fossa. And number 35, Jason Messamore. Puck goes out of play in the Seawolves end of things here. So they'll get a fresh biscuit out there. And it looks like they're going to drop it right on the dot at center. Five on five hockey. We're tied at one here. 9.33 into the first period. Poke back to the D.C. Wolves up the left side. It'll be thrown in from center by Barr. And now kicks right in front of the net. Colgan had gone out to play it. It's a good thing Duncan was there to clean up. Moore off the glass. Gets it out to center as he gets cleaned out by Wong. And a penalty coming up on Wong. Moore slow to get up. And now the River Dragons steal it back. Here's Moore down low. A pass in front for McDonald. Oh, here we go at center. Wong is going to answer, and he's going to answer to Brody Duncan. Here they go. Duncan getting the rights in there on Wong. They're just going to throw the bombs. 
Duncan getting it right in on Long. Long coming back at him. Duncan landing it right of his own. Long's helmet comes off, and they spin around. Down they go. A big time tilt right there between Wong and Brody Duncan. And Duncan went over and made sure that Wong was gonna answer for that hit, which was bringing an initial penalty call as he put Kyle Moore into the boards from behind. Now the question here, how do these penalties sort out? I don't know if they'll hand Duncan the instigator or not. It is boarding. Okay, so believe it or not, I think they just gave me each two for roughing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the lines would just indicated, but the extra two for boarding against Wong is going to be the power play for the River Dragons. It's their first kick at the power play can here. Again, three for six last night for the River Dragons on the man advantage. They scored their goal on a delayed penalty call coming up here earlier. All right, so the River Dragons five on four as they start off here on the loft power play. The Loft has live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for two for one cover. And tonight, post game party with the River Dragons after the game. Hope we can see you there. 21 and over. Puck turned out to center where the River Dragons try to push back in here. Nice job by Mississippi so far, not letting Columbus set up whatsoever. Chant goes up, let's go Dragons. Doe into the left side corner after it, trying to get to the puck. It's turned back out to center. Moore has to hustle back. He'll spin away, 110 to go on the man advantage. Moore at center, trying to pass back. Turned over, now shorthanded breakaway. Here's a chance, Anderson in, and shut down by Colgan. Right pad saved by Brennan Colgan on that shorthanded chance. Back comes Columbus. Cross ice feeders, McDonald in, trying to thread it through in front, he could not. Now back up top, McDonald at the right point. And the River Dragons down low, cross ice feed. That one goes out the other side of the left point, Slahetka on it to the right point, McDonald. McDonald slowing it down to the right corner into the slot, Moore in with a shot, he scores! Austin Doe with a screen in front, Kyle Moore with the power play goal. River Dragons lead it two to one. Moore with a salute to the troops in the corner. And this house is absolutely rocking right now. Moore extends his scoring streak to 10 games. His 16th goal of the season. And I believe Justin McDonald's gonna extend his streak to 21. Indeed, McDonald and Storjaham with the assists. So the River Dragons now back in the lead, 2-1. Coming up on eight minutes to go in the first. Mississippi and Liracos in with a shot and a penalty coming up against Columbus as Turner was dumped at center in behind the play. And now Krupp having a chat with Stoya. That's going to bring a little bit of a discussion. Group into the box for roughing. Seawolves to the power play. When we come back, Chick-fil-A Midland first period action. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. 
Hello there, my name is Seychelle, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that punch of flavors that's unlike any other. You get the crispy tenderness of the chicken and that hint of sourness from the pickles. Ta-da! <laughs> Hey, I'm Juan, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is every single time you take a bite, you know you're going to get chicken that's crispy, golden, and juicy. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is the gold standard of chicken sandwiches. There's no touching it. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Fueling life's passions. Eight minutes left to go in the first. 2-1 River Dragons in the lead in this Chick-fil-A Midland first period. However, for the River Dragons, shorthanded Krupp into the box for roughing into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. So we'll see if the River Dragons can get Jay out of jail here. And they start with an attempt to clear that skips off the glass and out. And now they're going to call high sticking. And so there goes the power play. That ended very quickly. Hugo Koch. Just four seconds in, nailed for a high stick. All right, there you go. Four on four for a minute and 56 seconds. 12.05, time of the penalty. So Columbus will have a very teeny tiny, the loft power play that'll be about four and a half seconds in duration. Law features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stub for two for one cover. And tonight, post game party with the River Dragons at the Loft. So, four on four, here's Justin McDonald in behind the Mississippi net out the left side. McDonald leaving it on the wall, down for the left point, attacking Bockwell. Behind the net, wrapping it around, puck through the crease, in front, poked away, not out of danger now. It swung over to the near wall, and a penalty coming up as McDonald's pulled down. And it's going to be a hooking call that puts the River Dragons on a four on three, the loft power play. Lucas Helland going to the box. Boy, we're picking up right where we left off last night. Wasn't a whole lot of penalty action in the first period last night, but in the second and third, the stream to the box was almost constant. 24 total minors on the evening. River Dragons controlling four on three, a lot of ice. Storjahan up top, Petrantonio. Storjahan. Storjahan moving it across, feeding it down low far side in front. Demore jamming away, puck free. McDonald can't get it to go. Pulls a rebound out, flips it up top. Petrantonio can't keep it at the line. And now pushing ahead, here's Turner. Turner's going to feed it back across. And right now the Seabulls just trying to kill some clock here. They'll come in here. Stoya in with a drive and a blocker save there by Colgan. Moore. Ahead to Petrantonio. He leaves it at the line. River Dragons offside. Forty-four seconds left to go in this four-on-three power play. Then it will be four and a half seconds, roughly, of five-on-three, then five-on-four. And that will last for about 26 seconds. Face-off coming up outside the Mississippi blue line. Wick line. Looking over his right shoulder here. He's got Chinkarik behind him. Maybe he's going to try to pull that puck back there. Instead, Barr wins the drawback. Mississippi sends it down. Colgan will tee it up behind the net. And here's Shinkarik out the left side. Shinkarik ahead. On to the left wing. Jamaev curls to the left half wall. 
Leaves for Shinkarik up top. Shinkarik high slot, wrist shot, just missed the net. Quick line after it, Jamath behind the net. And now hustling over to the far side. Russell will come up with a puck. He'll push up the ice. Russell looking to curl back, has to swing it back into his own end. Seawolves again, just killing some time here. Now the puck lost in the corner, now set off the glass. And down the ice as it bounces away from Ryan Hunter. So out of the box is Krupp. It's five on three. And then following him out of the box is Koch. It's five on four. Wick line on the right side. In cross crease pass. Nobody there for it. Now a race the other way between Koch and Shinkarik. Shinkarik able to win that one and jam it off the dasher. Back on the right side, here's Hunter trying to move in. He's got help coming. Looks up high, one-time shot, Shinkarik shot, and running into the goaltender in front is Krupp, and that was just kind of like a slow-motion crash as they both go down to the ice, and the puck goes into the netting, so we get a whistle. Two-one River Dragons, 5.35 to go in the first. Six seconds left to go in the high-sticking call against Lucas Helland. Big draw for the River Dragons here. If they can win this one, Bersani does win it back. It's Lahetka across the blue line with a shot blocked. Keeps it in on the right side, but the power play comes to a close as Bersani centers. Petrantonio can't get to it. Helen out of the box. He'll move it ahead, overskates it, has to feed it back towards the D. Kind of an awkward exchange, but it ends up with Turner left side. He leaves it for Barr. Barr's shot is deflected wide. Columbus. They're going to move it out of the zone here. Puck up top. Kept it on the far side corner. Slahetka around to the near side. Here's Shinkarik. Right wing break for Petrantonio. He'll fling it in cross corner. And Columbus looking to reset its lines here. Doe, Petrantonio, and Bersani out there. Seawolves up the right side. Stoya ahead to Leorakos. Learaco sitting over the line, trying to drive wide, pushed off into the corner, centered it. Nobody there for it. Ends up at the right point. There's a shot. Save made Colgan. Rebound right in front. And a chance back door. They score. River Dragons got running around a little bit defensively there. And then it opens up at the back door for Danny Alessio. And Alessio with 4.33 to go in this first period is tied the game at two. Boy, this is almost an eerie carbon copy of how last night went. The two teams could not find separation. Back and forth, each goal had an answer. And right now, it's 2-2, 433 to go. We've seen plenty of power plays already for these teams, and it's just turning out to be one of those evenings. Dragons hemmed up in their own end right now, trying to get out of there. They're going to slow it down behind the net. The right side is Frazier with a pass ahead. Finds McDonald. McDonald in wide with a shot. Saved Aloisio. Russell playing it to the line and not kept in by Hunter. Moore's got to leave it alone. That allows... Lissio to take it to center and dump it in from there. 3.49 to go in the first. 2-2 two -two tie between the River Dragons and the Seawolves. Here's Frazier lugging it in right side. In on the wing with a wrist shot and a glove saved Aloisio. He'll hang on and that'll get us to a break. 3.37 to go in this first period presented by Chick-fil-A Midland. Back with more in a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Hey, my name is Justice, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Nugget Trays is when it's time for football season and time to have the boys over, Chick-fil-A was it. You bite into it, and it's juicy. You know, you got flavors popping. Oh, yeah. On any D-A-Y, I need C-F-A. <laughs> Hey y'all, my name is Soraya, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Nugget Trays is how easy it is. That convenience of being able to order through the app is just unmatched. When I place that tray down, those nuggets won't be there for long. Everyone loves them. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app, only at Tim Hortons. Introducing New Starry Lemon Lime Soda.
music to my ears. You don't have ears. Story, it's different. Back here in the Chick-fil-A Midland first period of play. Tom Callahan here with you. 2-2 tie between the Sea Wolves and your Columbus River Dragons. 337 remaining in this opening frame. Face off will be to the left of the Sea Wolves net. Wick line in there with Storja Han and Jamaev. One back to the points, Lahetka on it there. Feeds it cross ice. Looking for Jamaev. Slapped away by Leo Rakos into the corner. Popped up high in the air, and that one will come down and bounce back into the River Dragons' end. Slahetka stops behind the net. His pass up the right side at center. Quick line tipping it on. Jamaif onto the left wing. River Dragons in. Chance to cut in front by Storjahani. Lost the handle. Turn the other way. Leo Rakos dumps it across the ice. Picked up by Koch. Koch tried to feed it in front, went off a body out of play. River Dragons Hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting, specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income, and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. Draw will come to the left of this River Dragons net. 2.58 to go in the first, 2-2 tie, River Dragons and Seawolves. Wong in for the faceoff here for the Seawolves and across from Bersani who ties him up, spins it back towards the corner. And now the puck bounces right in front, Colgan paddles it away with a goal stick. Around to the near side, Petrantonio chasing the line, sweeping at it, can't get it out, second effort does. Helen the other way, block will. Pokes at it, but it ends up back in the Columbus end. Underwood around to the near side. Petrantonio will once again chop it out of there. Stoya chasing back into his own end. Puck played ahead. Here's Wong turning with it. On to the left side. Barr at the line. Underwood took that away. Feeding it ahead. Here's Bersani tried to hop around his check. Could not. Puck is in offside. And now they wave it off. Doe in on the right wing. Doe knocked down in the corner. Bersani over to try to help out. Stoya moved it up the near side. Wong, cross ice pass. Turned right back by Bockwell. River Dragons want to get a change here, but in the meantime, here's Moore moving it up by himself. Moore curling, waiting for a little bit of help. Fed it through the slot and couldn't find his target. Puck at center. Moore runs into Wong as it's turned back in. I'll tell you what, Kyle Moore's got a bone to pick with Moore, Wong from earlier, and now that one's going to be called for icing against the River Dragons with 1.45 to go here in the first period, tied at two. While we have a moment, let's take a break. Ten seconds along the network for station identification. You're listening to River Dragons Hockey on WKCN HD2 Fort Moore, Columbus and W295AY Crystal Valley. 106.9 really rocks. Face off to the right of the River Dragons goal, tied at two, 145 to go in the first. Our first period intermission guest will be Josh Petrantonio. We'll hear from the captain. Sprejo digs it out, moves it ahead. Here's Hunter. Swings it around the glass. Up on the right side is Moore. It's cleared out by the Seawolves here. Columbus regrouping at center. McDonald with a backhand pass. Picked off there and dumped right back down the ice. Colgan out to pin it behind the net. He'll leave it there. Seawolves get the change after that icing call. Columbus coughs it up just outside the line. Learaco steps back in, feeds it right side. Here's Koch driving in the backhand, feeds it in front. And I'm not sure if Nilsson ever got a shot away. McDonald was draped all over him, and I think got a pretty good piece of him. Columbus flipping it ahead last minute here in the first. Hunter trying to break through, almost got through the traffic. Back the other way, ahead, Leo Rocco's back, and the puck ends up called for icing. I didn't realize that race was that close, but boy, there it was. Icing in the faceoff back to the Mississippi, and with 42.9 seconds to go. So we'll hear from Josh Petrantonio in the first period intermission, and then, of course, look at the Zelmo zipping out of town scoreboard. And a look back at the scoring from this first period. So far, 2-2. Two, two. 
Face off to the right of Dalloisio. Liraco sent across from Storjahan for the draw. Storjahan spins it over to the far wall. Jemayev tied up there. It's fed behind the net to Turner. Turner will just wing it out to center. Pass Shinkarik getting back for it to take it away from Stoya, who jumped up from the D spot. Shinkarik back behind his own net, moving it across. And Columbus on the charge right side to Wickline. Wickline moving in. Has Shinkarik going to the net, feeds it into the high slot. Storjahan, a shot saved. Aloisio and the... Rebound tied up before Jamaev could arrive. Draw to the left of Daloisio. Stored to Han in for the faceoff. They tie up. Lear Rocos tries to go ahead with it. Skips it off the glass and out to center. Columbus turning it back quickly here. Wickline knocked down as he tried to turn with it. Nelson. Lear Rocos on the left side. Nelson up top of the shot right into Colgan. He'll make the save and hang on to it. With 2.4 seconds to go in the period. Rakos is going to try to pull this back towards Nilsson. Instead, he's tied up by Bersani, and that'll do it for the period. And so off to the locker room we go at the end of the first period of play. With this game tied up at two between the River Dragons and the Sea Wolves. Well, we've seen a little bit of everything so far here. A couple of power plays, four goals in total. We even had a scrap. And again, these two teams picked off, picked up where they left off last night. It was a 7-6 overtime win for the River Dragons last night. And tonight, Columbus got out in front early as they did the evening before. They had two leads twice. Mississippi tied the game back up. So we'll see. We have two more periods of this to go. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be a good one. So stay tuned. There's more coming your way. In just a moment, it's time to head into the Sun South John Deere first period intermission report. We'll do that when we come back tied to two. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. 
It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app. Only at Tim Hortons. So fast, so reliable, so much to love. For a limited time, get Internet One Gig for just 50 bucks a month. Wow. Welcome back in the Sun South, John, to your first period intermission report. Josh Petrantonio, the captain, joining us right now. Josh, military appreciation night here, and I want to start out with that. Uh, I mean, the place is packed, soldiers everywhere. The adrenaline's pumping out there. Just your thoughts on what these guys mean to the community and to this hockey team. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a great atmosphere. It's, it's a game that all of us have circled on our calendars from the, the beginning of the year. Um, it's really special to be able to play in front of the people that um, do everything that they do to allow us to play this game, right? I mean, they're out there fighting on the front lines every day so that we have the opportunity to be free and, and play the sport for a living. So, I mean, all the thanks in the world to them, and it's, it's great to be able to play in front of them and kind of allow them to take a little a little deep breath and kind of relax and sit back and just enjoy some entertainment. Boomer talked about it in the pregame show, the goosebumps that you get during the Soldier's Creed. And I mean, everybody, everything just kind of stops when that happens. Yeah, I mean, uh, the hair on your back definitely stands up. Um, it's something that's pretty special. I mean, even as a Canadian, being down here for as long as I have, it's, it's just, it's something that's amazing and it's something that I've been able to, um, been very fortunate to be a part of over the last few years and you know it's just one of those things that no matter how prepared you are for it it still shocks you every time. Turning our attention back to the hockey side of things I uh, want to ask you about the OT winner last night you and uh, Justin McDonald combined for that one talk to us about that play. Yeah I mean I was just trying to beat uh, Turner up the ice there and J Mac made a great play to me and uh, made me look a little good I'm not sure if the puck bounced the last second or whatever but uh, I think I think he batted it out of the air so <laughs> made me look good on the pass back but I mean, he's just unbelievable to play with. It's so easy. It's like, you play with your eyes closed with him. He's just such an unbelievable hockey player. He's so smart. Well, I'll, I'll try playing with my eyes closed <laughs> next time. Maybe it might make me better, too. So, But 7-6 uh, last night, I know defensively not the effort you guys wanted. What do you need to shore up tonight? We just got to be more disciplined. I mean, we were taking a lot of penalties last night. We put ourselves down and, and got ourselves to some sticky situations there. And, I mean, we just got to be smarter with that. And Obviously, it was, a, it was a different game when it comes to standard of what was being called and what wasn't being called, but we're smart enough to know as the game goes on that um, the refs are going to set a standard and they're going to continue it for the game. And I mean, we just didn't do a good job of uh, keeping our sticks out of the wrong places. Well, and then Josh, uh, for tonight's game, I mean, the adrenaline is pumping out there. We know everybody's excited. Do you have to manage that a little bit as well, not to go out and try to do too much? Yeah, I mean, we've been preaching all year, no highs, no lows, kind of just stay the course. Obviously, there's going to be some excitement and some highs and some goosebumps and stuff like that just from the atmosphere and the game that it is. But, I mean, we're going to try and feed off the energy as best we can and, and play our game offensively and try to clean up things a little bit defensively and stay out of the box. All right, Petro, thanks for joining us. Good luck tonight. Thanks for having me. Back with more of the First Period Intermission Report in just a moment. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do.
For a limited time, get super fast internet and YouTube TV starting at just $82.98 per month. Wow. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app. Only at Tim Hortons. Hi-ho, hi-ho, your gas is getting low. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. This month at Zelmo's, all Celsius energy drinks, two for $4. But you're in luck, pull your car or truck into Zelmo, Zelmo, Zelmo's. Always clean, always fast, always friendly. Zelmo Zip In, fueling life's passions for 20 years. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. The Mississippi Sea Wolves tied at two. And this first intermission is brought to you by SunSouth John Deere. Equipment for those that do. Let's take a look at the scoring wrap up from period number one for you. Columbus got on the board first. And uh, the River Dragons, a delayed power play due to them. They had the goaltender on the bench for the extra attacker. Jay Krupp with a backhand feed into the slot. Austin Doe at 5.53 with the goal to put the River Dragons up 1-0. But just like yesterday, every time Columbus scores, Mississippi's got an answer. 8.52, just a hair under three minutes later. Yanni Lirakos with a brilliant individual effort coming in on the left wing, cutting straight across the goal mouth for his 27th, going right in front of Colgan and going forehand, backhand, tucking it around the outstretched left pad. And that makes it a 1-1 hockey game. Russell and Helen, the assists on the goal. Then at 11-22, Kyle Moore nets his 16th of the year. A power play marker from Justin McDonald and Alex Storjahan at 11-22. And now with that goal, Kyle Moore's personal point streak has been extended to 10 games. So congratulations to Moore. Has 20 points in those 10 games, but how about Justin McDonald? 21 games with a point. 43 points in those 21 games now for J Mac. Just an unbelievable run. Storjahan, the other assist on that goal, but boy, what a season we're seeing out of Justin McDonald. And uh, it, it just continues to be more and more special all the time. Big, big night out of him so far. So the River Dragons. Up to one at that point, and then a 15-27. Alicio responds for the Seawolves, and he puts the puck in the net and scores his eighth of the season from Leo Rakos and Lind at 15-27, and that is how we end period number one. So for the River Dragons, shots in the period 14, Mississippi 10, power plays, Columbus one for three. And Mississippi 0 for 2 with the man advantage. Now let's turn our attention to the out-of-town scoreboard. Brought to you by Zelmo's Zip and Zelmo's has been fueling life's passions since 1999. At the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, they're into the third period already. That game is moving right along. Coming up on the eight-minute mark into that third period, it's 4-2 Carolina leading Danbury. 1-0 Blue Ridge leading the Baton Rouge Zydeco. That's about midway through the second period of that game. Elmira and Port Huron are tied up at one in the second period at McMoran Arena. And after one period of play between the Rockers and the Watertown Wolves, that game is scoreless at Watertown Arena. In the NHL earlier today, it was the All-Star game. 
Team McDavid beats Team McKinnon 4-3 to move on to the round robin final. And then Team Matthews 6-5 winners over Team Hughes. And in the final, Team Matthews 7-4 winners over Team McDavid in the minigame tournament. And Austin Matthews scores twice in that final game to help his namesake team to the victory. Men's college basketball out of town scoreboard as we get a refresh on that. Game's going on right now. You got number three, North Carolina, leading number seven, Duke, 77-66. Just underway between number 18, Baylor, and number 12, Iowa State. Coming up later, as a matter of fact, about 15 minutes from now, you got number five, Kentucky, number 10, or number five, Tennessee, at number 10, Kentucky. Mississippi State's at number 24, Alabama, at 8.30. Finals from earlier, number one, UConn beats St. John's 77-64. Number nine, Marquette 91-57 over Georgetown. Number 25, TCU loses to Texas 77-66. San Diego State upends number 17, Utah State 81-67. Number eight, Kansas beats number four, Houston 78-65. UCF beats number 23, Oklahoma 74-63. Cincinnati takes down number 15, Texas Tech 75-72. Auburn with a big win, number 16 ranked Auburn, 91-77 over Ole Miss. Auburn trailed at that game heading into the half. Number 20, Florida Atlantic, 102-70 over Tulsa tonight. And number 22, BYU, 86-73 winners over West Virginia. So that's our Zelmo zipping on a town scoreboard, and that's it for our first period intermission report brought to you by SunSouth John Deere. Equipment for those that do. Before we hit the break, want to remind you to save big at River City Swing Sets, your local gorilla play sets authorized showroom, offering lifetime warranty swing sets and basketball goals, swings, slides, and more. Check out RiverCitySwingSets.com for the full lineup. Get your big save at River City Swing Sets with free installation on any swing set purchased by saying, Go River Dragons. 2-2 after one, second period action coming up on the other side of the break. Stay tuned, there's plenty more coming your way. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. All you can eat riblets, shrimp, and boneless wings are back for just $14.99. Applebee's, you know that's eating good in the neighborhood. Winter is upon us. We must prepare. Cold and darkness will spread across the land. The nights will be long. Hey, what are you guys doing? Air Force is here to fix the heat. Don't let winter leave you out in the cold. Call Air Force Heating and Air now for our special $79 AC gas furnace or heat pump tune-up, only for a limited time. Air Force Heating and Air is always here for you. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. There's only one way to settle this. Oh. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change.
period action. River Dragons and the Seawolves are tied up at two. River Dragons back out on the ice. We're awaiting the return of the Mississippi Seawolves. Tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 per month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons! Columbus wearing those specialty black Fort Moore jerseys here tonight. Here come the Seawolves. And those will be auctioned off on Dash. They're up there right now, as a matter of fact. And you can get in on the action. Text the word Dash, D-A-S-H, to 66866. That's 66866. Download the Dash app on your mobile device. And you too can participate in the River Dragons jersey auctions. All the other things they have going on as well. And of course, you set up your account, so that Columbus Sports is your favorite. And we'll notify you when auctions are about to go live. We'll keep you up to date on how your bids are doing. And boy, I tell you what, a packed house here tonight in Columbus. It's a 2-2 tie right now, 40 minutes to go in this one, and it's been an absolute zoo. Last night, tonight, these two teams have just gone at it, hammer and tong, for now four periods of hockey. It's been incredible. Columbus is going to start. Justin McDonald along with Hunter and Moore on the wings. Defensively, it's going to be Bockwell and Underwood. Here we go, River Dragons rolling right to left in front of the broadcast location, period number two. We are underway. Mississippi controlling that faceoff. Moore dumps it in as he steals it away from Barr. Here's McDonald up on the four check after it. Way back behind him, Russell turns it over though. Moore in the right side corner. Looking in front, Moore tried to slide it across, diving in the pass is blocked there. But again, Moore able to at least deflect that outlet pass. Banked out and now picked up by Wong. He'll get it ahead looking for Barr. Barr at the line, fed it back to Wong, taken away from him. Hunter will feed it back, and the River Dragons will regroup defensively here. Now there's a pass on to the right wing side. Moore pressured in space, lost the puck, turned back in by Mississippi. Cole going to leave it behind the net for Bockwill. Bockwill spun around back there, has to send it around to Underwood as he takes a thump on the far side. Columbus having trouble getting out of its own zone. They jam it ahead, and now here's Hunter in behind the D. Bouncing puck, he's in alone, a shot! And that one goes high on the glove side. Chance in front, looking for a tip. That one missed as Bersani tried to redirect it. Back the other way, here's Leo Rakos. Oh, boy, they called that one onside, but I don't know. River Dragons trying to move that puck out of there. At least Doe will get it onto the zone. Ends up with Lind at center. He'll turn it back the other way. Bounces it over the line, but Petrantonio cleared it back out. Now we get a whistle and an offside call at the line. 122 into the second period. That offside brought to you by Old School Barber Shop. They're online at Old School Barber. S-H-O-P-P-E.com, OldSchoolBarberShop.com. Your sides are a little off. You can get lined up today, book your next appointment online anytime. Plus, 24-7 through their Instagram and Facebook. Old School Barbershop. Face-off is won back by the River Dragons all the way back into their own end. Shinkarik will loop around behind the net after it. Petrantonio ahead. Bersani stretching back for it. He's tied up by Leorakos. Petrantonio on it. Over to Doe. Doe back in front. Petrantonio pulled down, going to the net. And there will be a penalty for that. It's going to be a hooking call. Petrantonio able to break free. And Leorakos got the hook in him. Boy, last night Leorakos got away with a doozy in overtime. He got the absolute can opener in there to deny what otherwise might have been a breakaway chance. 
Columbus wins it in overtime anyway, so, I mean, all's well that ends well, but, or as we say in New York, all's well and end well. But 145, time of the hooking call against Leo Rakos. River Dragons to the loft power play. Fourth time tonight, they're one for three. Here's Doe into the slot, feeds it back door, they score! Alex Storjahan! That didn't take long, just 13 seconds into the man advantage. The River Dragons take a 3 2 lead. And restored to Han, that's his 13th. Great feed by Doe, great look to the back door. Storjahan wide open. McDonald with a second assist of the night as well as he stays red hot. River Dragon to the puck in on goal. D'Aloisio the save and he hangs on. Boy, how about that power play unit for the River Dragons is just absolutely eviscerating the Wolves. Counting last night, five for 10, 50% on the power play this weekend. Puck dropped in the circle, Mississippi. Looking to move that one ahead. Here's Koch. Puck bounced back into the Columbus end. Colgan out to play it around to the back end away from Nilsson. Lerakos on the far side, put it right in front. Bouncer is still there, now it's taken away. And Columbus up the right wing side. Stopping on the right side wall is Wickline. He'll feed it deep, but unfortunately, Bockwell, or Slaheka, pardon me, had already turned to go back out the other way. That's twice I've confused those guys tonight. They look nothing alike, and their numbers are completely different. Sometimes you just have one of those nights. Leo Rocco's up on the right side. Centering feed, Petrantonio chops at Nilsson, trying to move the puck out. They do get it ahead, two on two. Now Krupp up with Chimaev. Krupp wheeling in the line. He's got some room in with a wrist shot. He scores! Jay Krupp! With a wrist shot over the glove side of the goaltender, D'Aloisio. The River Dragons, two quick goals here to start the second. And it's 4-2. Those goals coming a minute and 18 seconds apart. And Krupp has his third of the season. Dragons continue to push it offensively. Slahetka, the only assist on the goal. And at least they could tell him apart. <laughs> There's Bersani in the high slot. Fights through a check, feeds it into the left side corner. If you can't make fun of yourself, who can you make fun of? Puck at the left point. Bach will there with a shot. Nice right pad saved Aloisio despite all that traffic in front. Rebound cleared down the ice. Underwood after it, that'll be nice and calm. Four minutes gone here in the second period. The River Dragons on goals from Storjahan and the power play Krupp at even strength. One minute, 18 seconds apart. And we went from 2-2 to 4-2 in a big hurry. Face off to the right of the Seawolves net. Columbus trying to control. Mississippi looking to move it out. Here's Wong to center. On the right side, Russell tipped it, but it went right to Shinkarik. Clears it back out. Russell put it right back in. Colgan will slow it down behind the net. Lead pass on the left side. Here's McDonald to Hunter. Hunter trying to cut through the D in towards the goal, but he was tied up. Couldn't get a shot away. 
Lind on the right side ahead at center. Tip pass Frazio. No icing. Shinkarik behind the net. Back up the near side rim. Tipped around. Here's Hunter. Hunter tried to move it ahead to McDonald, but he zigged. McDonald zagged, and never the twain shall they meet. Mississippi back the other way on the right side. Lissio looking for help from Kuznetsov in the pile. There's a shot by Lissio. Stick to side by Colgan. Columbus out with it. A feed up the left side. Here's Hunter. Ashen Carrick coming up with him. In over the line. Hunter cross ice looking for Moore. Off the dasher. Moore corrals it. In the corner on the right side. Trying to work that one free. Moore still battling. Puts it to the slot. And Carrick scores! Carter Shikarik with an absolute bomb from the high slot. What a great battle in the corner by Kyle Moore, working the whole time, battling to get that puck free. Feeds it up top, and Shikarik absolutely unloads for his eighth of the year and a 5 2 Columbus lead. 5-12, time of the goal. Boy, Mississippi is rocked back right now. River Dragons ahead again. Jamea will dump it in. Right side corner, Wick line over after it. Colgan with an assist on that one as well. River Dragons trying to move it out of the zone now. That is Colgan's first assist of the year, I believe. Puck at the left point, Turner holding it in over to the right side. Stoya with a shot, he scores. That puck was deflected in front over the left shoulder of Colgan. You cannot take your foot off the gas against Mississippi, and that's why. The Seawolves do not stop coming at you. They just get more and more desperate offensively. They open the game up more. They push more. And they just won't go away. So the Seawolves respond. And Stoy has got his seventh now. Now it's 5-3. Turner and Leo Rocco see assists. And now the hitting picks up. Columbus back in on the right side. River Dragons push again, centering attempt. Petrantonio will feed it to the left point. Shot coming in, Bach will tipped on goal by Doe and a save by D'Aloisio. Now up to the right point it goes. Held in, a shot in, high one is gloved down. D'Aloisio will catch. And that'll get us to a break, 6.25. Into the second period. 5-3 Columbus. The goal fest continues. We are back with more in just a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Ah! Get internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. 5-3 your score as we come back here. 625 into the second period. 5-3 River Dragons leading the Seawolves. My goodness it's just been an absolute offensively challenging weekend. Draw coming out of the left of the goaltender Daloisio in the Seawolves net. 
And the draw one back. River Dragons trying to throw a backhand through traffic. That was blocked. Wong looking to clear it out. Stopped at the left point. Blocked well with a shot. Blocked on the way through. Moore gets hit with a clearing attempt. Tries to walk it in front. And it's bounced away to center off of Helen. Helen will curl back with it. Now turned over at center. Hunter steps in over the line. Free to Moore. Moore moving in. Shot. Save made. And Dalhuisio able to hold. Oh, my. Kyle Moore almost found daylight on the glove side. But... D'Aloisio got enough of it to knock it down into his pads. Face off will be to his right. And I know McDonald kind of gave more a little bit of a glance there. He was open on the back side. River Dragons, boy, oh boy, lots of offensive chances here. They've cashed in a couple already in the period as well. There's a shot towards the net. That one is high. That might have actually hit a River Dragons player. Knocked down Wickline on the way through. Now it's coughed up in the high slot area. Lissio in on the right wing. He's got one of the three for Mississippi in this game. Columbus trying to go back the other way. Here's Jamaif on the left side. Chips it ahead around Turner. Here's Jamaif. Rolling puck, chasing it down on the wing. Jamaev curls, stops, back up the near side, fed it towards the point. Shot by Gill, and that one is knocked wide. D'Aloisio's lost his goal stick. Puck on the left wing, still tied up. Shinkarik pinching down the wall, left side, and it's cleared out. Dump back in. Right side, Petrantonio chasing. River Dragons changing. Petrantonio loops out the far side. Feeds the left point. Here's Gill. Gill to Petrantonio. His shot tipped on the way in. And D'Aloisio just got a piece of it going the wrong way. He split out to his left for the shot. It was deflected off an arm and went the other way on him. And it just kind of hit him. Sometimes better to be lucky than good, though. We'll call that a positional save. Here's Koch trying to wrap one out through center. Turned over there, though, but right back. Well, now stolen away by Doe. Bersani will dump it deep. D'Aloisio out to play it. He's got to help himself and loft one out of the zone all the way back to center. Frazio on it. Frazio up the middle, and now here turning in is Bersani. Left side knocked down. Bersani draws a penalty. Petrantonio to the left point. Cutting across is Duncan. Extra man is on for the River Dragons. Shot coming through by Frazier. Blocker save. Puck up in the air. Ends up on the near side. Sent towards the corner. River Dragons battling, but touched by the Sea Wolves. And the River Dragons power play, which has just been in flames, goes back. The loft power play. Chance tonight, number five. They're two for four. The Loft features live music every Friday and Saturday night. Show your River Dragons ticket stuff for a two-for-one deal on cover. And tonight, post-game party with the River Dragons at the Loft. 21 and over, please. We will see you there. Russell into the box. Columbus is going to put out Storjahan, Moore, Petrantonio, McDonald, and Doe. Mississippi starts by setting it over the glass. Delay a game. So now it's going to be five on three for a minute, 56 seconds. The delay a game call against Lind comes right on the heels of the slashing call. Eight fifty-nine. time of the penalty. Oh boy, this is a long five-on-three for the River Dragons. And now Columbus will go to work setting it up. McDonald at the left point. Over to the right, Petrantonio. Petrantonio feeds it down low. Back up top, Petrantonio. McDonald, McDonald. Storjahan. Storjahan tried to send it in front. Cleared around the wall. McDonald on the left side to Storjahan. Storjahan into space on the left side. River Dragons will cycle. Go up top, McDonald a shot, blocked by Wong. McDonald trying to pull it out, does. McDonald feeds it down low, looking for more. 
More side of the net, Petrantonio, his shot, he scores! The captain with a power play goal to make it 6-3, River Dragons! And the River Dragons will now have a minute, 25 seconds of five on four power play time. 9.35, time of the marker. Petrantonio's 14th of the season. Can Columbus net another one here? Unbelievable, they're three for five, working on number six right now. Slahetka ends up with the puck. One minute to go on the man advantage. Columbus all the way back in behind its own net. Left side ahead to Jamaev. Here's Jamaev in over the line, feeds it onto the right wing. Wick line leaving it off up top. And Shankarik a drive, whistled to the glass. Jamaev on the right half wall, up top, Duncan. Duncan back over to Jamaev, up top. Duncan rolled off his sticking out of the zone. Pardon me, that's Ryan Hunter up top on the point, 88, not 89. And now it's pushed back in. Here's Helen moving in, Laracos with him. A chance back door, Laracos. Shot tipped over top of the net by Colgan. And now Mississippi changing. Oh, Columbus tried to push ahead. Pass too far for Wickline. And back in comes Mississippi. There's a feed into space, but only Jamaev was there for it. Jamaev tried to clear, though. Stoya kept it in. Ten seconds ago on the power play. Long lead left side. Here's Hunter with a rolling puck. Tried to thread it through. Could not. It's cleared back down. That'll do it for the River Dragons on the power play here. Three for six. Here's a lead ahead to Krupp. Dumps it into the left side corner. And Columbus... Leading at 6-3 here. We're just past the halfway mark of period number two. This game has been absolutely crazy. Doe, lead ahead. There's a chance in behind the DM with a wrist shot and a glove saved Aloisio as he took it away from Bersani out on the angle. Let's grab a break. This second period is brought to you by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the Columbus River Dragons this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 a month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go Dragons, 6-3. Columbus in the lead, back with more in a moment. Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. All for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Applebee's All You Can Eat Riblets, Shrimp, and Boneless Wings are back for just $14.99. Applebee's, you know that's eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Good internet. Get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Eight thirty-eight to go here in the second period. Presented by Wow Internet. Six three River Dragons here on Military Appreciation Night. A sellout tonight. Seven thousand seven hundred forty in attendance here at the Columbus Civic Center. And boy, are they seeing the River Dragons just giving it both barrels here against the Mississippi Seawolves. Columbus looking to attack through center. Here's Doe up the right side. Has Krupp trailing. Doe on the right wing. Stops. He'll feed it to the point. Underwood gave it back to Doe. Doe top of the circle. Shot tipped in on goal. D'Aloisio with a save. Nice little redirect there by Hunter Bersani. Face off will stay inside the Seawolves. End of things. 8-10. Left to go on the second period, 6-3 River Dragons. Shots are 27-12 in favor of Columbus.
and at least one of the soldiers, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, not, not that we're going to be able to find it, but way over in the, the section across from us, one soldier has the light-up dragon sword going. <laughs> I love it. That's a lot of fun to see. Mississippi trying to clear the zone. Moore will keep it in momentarily. And Leo Rocco's pushing at the line. Nilsson into the pile now. Pucky is out to center. Leo Rocco's trying to move it ahead. He'll dump it in. Colgan will play it to the side of the net. Flip it right back up the near side glass. McDonald to the line, not out. Leo Rocco's keeping it in. Feeds it across. Puck in and a shot. Colgan out to his right to make the save. He'll cover that and hang on for a face off to his right. Seven thirty-eight remaining here in this second period. River Dragons with a 6-3 lead. McDonald in for the face-off here. And Leirocco's trying to push it ahead. In behind the net it goes. Columbus on it. And they turn it over in the slot, though. There's Nelson with a shot towards the net, blocked by Slahetka. Now cleared out and now a race. Hunter. He's going to beat this one out for icing. And Hunter leaves it there in the corner. McDonald after it on the near side. McDonald pulls free on the wall, tried to walk in front. Lynn got in the way. Now Stoya with the puck to center. Bouncer turned right back. McDonald in behind Stoya. And he steals it, walks in front. McDonald cross ice. Hunter back up top. McDonald, his shot blocker save. Yeah, maybe a few too many passes right there from this line, which feels like it could score at will. And now a chance taken away. Boy, McDonald and Duncan kind of got in each other's way there. Fortunately, the rush was thwarted by Mississippi. Here's Leo Rocco's in, though. Backdoor feed. There's a shot that missed the net. Slahetko just scoop it out off the dasher. Down the ice it goes. Chased by Koch. No icing. Six and a half to go in the second. 6-3. River Dragons in the lead. Mississippi stepping in left sider's coach. Off angle chance. Colgan save at the right post. Puck ends up behind the net. Here's Jamaev. Left wing ahead. Storjahan. Right wing side leading it ahead. Cleared around and down to the left point. Kept in. Shinkarik fanned on it. Shinkarik will flip it into space. A bouncer there. Wick line. Knocked away from him. It's now up the other way. Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov into the wing with a shot blocker saved by Colgan. Rebound to the far side again. Tip behind the net. Colgan got a piece with that waffle board. Kuznetsov behind the net. Up the far side. Settles a rolling puck all the way up top in the zone. Leaves at the left point for Turner. Turner sends it in and it trickles all the way through the slot out the other side jamea feeding it around shinkarik banks to the point not out anderson holding it in shot tipped on goal left pad save there that was a nice one by colgan jamea on the wing by himself mates are changing he'll flip it in on daloisio daloisio plays it away now moved ahead to helland seawolves changing as well threaded through and Went right to Petrantonio. He gets it at Bersani. Leaves it off for Frazio. Left side to Doe. Doe in over the line. Back in front. Bersani is wrapped up by Lynn. Couldn't get a shot away. Now he gets a turnaround chance off. Save made. Rebound again. Bersani on it. And that puck is knocked out of play. 4.54 to go in the second period. 6-3 River Dragons. We're back with more in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. <laughs> Good internet. With WOW, you now get upfront surprise free pricing with Wi Fi modem included and no data caps, all for only $30 a month with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. Here he comes, boys. Sure is beautiful. Here it is, boys. Who's ready to put it to work? Me. Me. There's only one way to settle this. Rock. Where'd he come from? I win. Never saw him coming. Must be the camo. Drive off in a new John Deere from SunSouth right now with 0% financing on select models. SunSouth, equipment for those that do. Good internet. Get 
upfront surprise free pricing with Wi-Fi modem included and no data caps. Plus bundle internet 300 with YouTube TV for just $92.99 per month for 12 months with auto pay and paperless billing. Wow. As we come back here with 4.54 to go in the second, River Dragons up 6-3 on the Seawolves. The, the timing of it this year, we just happened to be at break when all the soldiers here in attendance tonight stood up and recited the Soldier's Creed just moments ago. But, uh, boy, it always just absolutely just kind of makes the, the hair in your arms stand up. Just an absolutely phenomenal moment. And everybody here in the arena just listening. 6-3 River Dragons, under five to go here in the second. Frazio, the eye of the River Dragons net, will leave it off on the near side to Bockwell. Bockwell near side to Doe. Doe trying to flip it out. Puck at center, it's turned back in. And that's offside. Well, they, they say hand pass, not offside, but a hand pass. Tonight's second period presented by WOW Internet. Proud to sponsor the River Dragons again this season. Team up with WOW for fast home internet for $30 a month. It's a good deal for good sports fans. Go River Dragons. Columbus winning the faceoff, but they lose the puck at center ice. Mississippi will go regroup defensively in its own end. On the near side, Bockwell had it hop on him as he tried to clear it ahead. Pushed back in, Petrantonio sends it hard around the glass, and that one rolls its way back out to center. Stoya, near side to Helland, tip back in, and that pass went behind Bersani. And now Helen steps in over the line. Cross ice feed, that one went past the ears of both Learakos and Koch. Centering attempt in the slot there, and Petrantonio is run into. Gets a second whack at it, though. Puts it down the ice. They say no icing. Now a heavy hit there on the forecheck from Bersani as the puck is played around and up the right side. Here's Turner in over the line. His shot in. Oh, Colgan had it go off the tip of the mitt. He tried to fight that one off. It ends up near dot. Rocco's with a shot. Colgan save. Rebound up the slot. And now pulled down one of the River Dragons. They're looking for a call as Stoya's stick was right under his skates. No call either way. Columbus moving in, dancing into the slot. Here's Moore, sends it in front. Tied up in front of the net, Bersani. Great traffic, but just couldn't get to the puck. Dumped back Underwood after it. No icing. Boy, Kyle Moore's having himself a heck of a game and a heck of a streak here. Ten games with a point now for Kyle Moore. Slahetka with a long feed on the right side off the stick of McDonald into the bench. Look out. Oh, did that one catch Boomer? River Dragons head coach. Hey, he's all right. <laughs> Jerome Bichard. He's a tough son of a gun, that guy. Now that one tipped right into Boom Boom. The <laughs> crowd giving him a hand. He gave him a little wave. I'm all right. Even if he's not all right, he is not going to let you know that he's not all right. He's fine. Face off outside the River Dragons blue line. 6-3 Columbus leading. 2.52 to go in the second. I'll tell you what. There are very few sports figures in the city of Columbus as loved as Jerome Bichard, head coach of this hockey team. And uh, guiding the River Dragons to first place again here this year. And looking forward to hopefully some playoff success, but we got a lot of hockey till we get there. Puck dumped into the Seawolves end of things. D'Aloisio elects to move it ahead. At center, Columbus trying to push it back the other way. Lissio turns it over. Here's Underwood. He's up with McDonald pushing it over the line. Hooks it up high, and it was behind Hunter on the pass. And now the Seawolves push the other way, but here's Moore digging on the back check to break up the rush. McDonald back in with a roller on the right side. He feeds it across Underwood with a drive and a stick save there. Rebound behind the net. 
Underwood in the right wing. Looking for help from McDonald to try to pull the puck out of the pile. Underwood in the right side corner. Swung around to the near side. Slaheka down for the left point. Puck pops right in front. And that is covered by D'Aloisio, who will hold with 1.59 to go in the second period. River Dragon 6, Seawolves 3. Columbus out shooting Mississippi 31-16. River Dragons Hockey brought to you in part by BKI Accounting, a new age approach to old school accounting, specializing in payroll, bookkeeping, income and sales taxes for small business. Learn more at bkiaccounting.com. Face off to the right of the Seawolves goal, Jamaif. Trying to hang on to the left side, Wickline pushed behind the net. Turner after it. Turner ran into Storjahan, second effort, did get it out. Columbus recovers, they'll regroup. Here come the River Dragons. Led ahead by Shinkarik in over the line. On to the right wing side. Wick line in. Feeds it down low. Off angle chance. And it was left Aloisio the save. Not a great angle for Storjahan there, but trying to find some daylight between the goaltender and the post. 135 to go in the second period. Wick line in for the faceoff. It ends up in the far corner. Storjahan after it. Wickline pulls it free. Feeds it to the point. Quickly skipped across the blue line. Out it goes. Shinkarik tried to hustle it over to Duncan, and that didn't quite work itself out. Duncan in trouble there as he was hooked up right in front of his own net by Helen. Shinkarik back around to Duncan. Gets it ahead to Storjahan. Jamaev on the left side. Dump back to the line, though. Helen on it. Put it right into Jamaev. Jamaev trying to poke it past him. Blocked by Helen. And Columbus again recovering. They'll try to move it ahead. There's a flip into space right side. Here's a chance. In on goal, and it's poked just wide. DeLuisio out with a poke check there. May have knocked it away from Wickline. Left pointer, Shinkarik. His shot through traffic. Oh, just missed the net. Wickline on the rebound. Around to the right point. Puck kept in at the line. Over to the left side. Here's Duncan. Duncan back up top. Shinkarik's got room. Walks it in. Fakes. Carries wide. Right side. Off angle. And that shot, I think, might have hit the crossbar. And it goes all the way out of the zone. Duncan trying to turn it back the other way. Pushed in Bersani, but taken right back out by Wong. Wong to center, pushing it in on the wing. Stoya on the right side, leaving it off in space. Penalty coming up against Bersani. And now the pile comes back together. Haven't seen that in a little while. 14.1 seconds to go, and Mississippi's going to go on to the power play, or at least potentially go on to the power play. Versani will get two for hooking. I don't know if they'll dole anything else out. Leo Rakos is doing his best to advocate for more, but I don't think we're going to see it. Well, they're going to call it high sticking against Bersani, not hooking, but six of one, half dozen to the other. So Hunter Bersani into the Abercrombie bonding penalty box here for the remaining 14.1 seconds of period number two. The draw will be to the right of Colgan. Looks like Bersani needed a new stick there. Gets it from the bench. Face off to the right of the River Dragons net is cleared down the ice. And that'll pretty much do it for the period here. Seawolves try a stretch pass. That doesn't convert, and that's it. So 40 minutes in the books. It's now a 6-3 River Dragons lead. 
after a 2-2 first period. Columbus really able to stretch that lead out a little bit here in the second. The River Dragons head off to the locker room now. Looking to close this one out. They do have a minute 46 seconds of power play time to kill off when they come out for period number three. So we're going to head off into the sunset, period number two as well. And move on into our second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. We'll take a break and come back. We'll wrap up the scoring for you. Plus, take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard. 6-3, River Dragons lead the Seawolves. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. Let Shred Away, a division of the Overby Company, take care of all your document shredding needs. We can design a custom shredding program for your business today. No need to purchase equipment, no maintenance expenses, no need to prepare records for destruction, increase employee productivity, increase security, no worry. Was it really destroyed? Right now, all new customers can receive 10% off. Shred Away, a division of the Overby Company, locally owned and operated in downtown Columbus. That's Shred Away, 706-577-9668. Phoenix Eye Clinic, located inside the optical shop in Phoenix City, wants to be your local eye doctor. Specializing in diabetic eye exams, glaucoma treatment, and cataract evaluations, Phoenix Eye Clinic has an ophthalmologist on staff. They also handle all of your needs for eye exams, glasses, and contacts. Call the Phoenix Eye Clinic at 334-480-4015. That's 334-480-4015. Phoenix Eye Clinic, located inside the optical shop. If you're looking for quality dental work, look no further than Largeman Dental in Columbus, the River Dragons' trusted oral care provider. Largeman Dental provides cleaning services, restorative work, cosmetics, prosthetics, and Invisalign braces too. Dr. Largeman has over 19 years of clinical experiences in all phases of dentistry and holds memberships in four different esteemed dental societies. Set your next appointment by calling 706-322-6581 or visit Visit them online at largemandental.com. For Beam, community isn't just a place, it's a state of mind. We believe that when we care together, work together, and even cheer for our favorite teams together, we are closer to what counts. Beam has been improving the way we connect since 1964, not just with technology, but with our communities and with each other. Because at Beam, community is not just a place, it's the way we do business. Beam bringing East Alabama more. It's in our name. It's a new year, and the newly renovated Riddle Pace Field is ready to make its grand debut in 2024. Join us all season long. Get your Troy baseball season tickets now at TroyTrojans.com slash tickets. Last year, the Trojans won 40 games and hit the most home runs and reported the most strikeouts in program history. Troy baseball takes on a home schedule that includes Alabama, Louisiana, Harbor, South Alabama, and more. Get your Troy baseball season tickets now at TroyTrojans.com slash tickets. Announcing Wade Cleaner's newest location at 6801 River Road, located just across from the new VA hospital. This location has a drive through and is open six days a week. Tell us you heard this and receive 25% off your first visit. Wade Cleaners, since 1939. And we are back here in the second period intermission report brought to you by Shredaway. Tom Callahan here with you. 6-3 River Dragons in the lead now with 40 minutes in the books. 20 more to go in this one on a sold out military appreciation night here. The River Dragons thank not only the members of the military, but their entire support system. It takes a village and the folks who work on base here and support the members who are there training, and also their families. The husbands, the wives, the sons, the daughters, everybody. And uh, we appreciate everything that you all do, the sacrifices, and we just want to say thank you. And this is our way to be able to do that on Military Appreciation Night here. And, boy, what an atmosphere it's been here this evening. River Dragons, really, in the second period especially, kind of playing into that energy from the crowd. And coming into the first or coming into the second, I should say, tied at two after Delwyn Moore scored for the River Dragons, Learacos and Lysio for the Seawolves. So early on, 
in period number two. Columbus finds itself on the power play where they've been absolutely deadly in this series on the weekend. Storjahan scores his 13th of the year from Doe and Justin McDonald, 157 time of the goal. And Columbus steps back into the lead to make it 3-2. Then 118 later, Jay Krupp scores on a beautiful wrist shot, beating the goaltender Daloisio high over the glove from uh, a little ways out, maybe using the defender as a screen. Krupp as he crosses over, just wires that one inside the corner. Slahetka and Petrantonio pick up the assists on the goal. And that makes it 4-2. Then at 5-12, Carter Shinkarik, his eighth, an absolute rocket. And this play was completely made by the work of Kyle Moore. Moore in the right side corner, battling, trying to work the puck free, gets out of a pile with it, centers it up top, and Shinkarik just uncorks from the high slot area for his eighth. Brennan Colgan picks up an assist on the goal, and I believe that's Colgan's first point of the year. So at that point, it's 5-2. Well, 5-3, just a little while later, 5-51. Matt Stoya scores his seventh of the year from Turner and Leo Rakos. And Mississippi, again, you can't take your foot off the gas against these guys. They get a little bit closer, and you've got to be a little bit concerned, but the River Dragons stretch that lead back out at 9:35. A five-on-three power play goal. Josh Petrantonio, the captain, his 14th from Moore. And Justin McDonald and Columbus at that point restores a three-goal lead. That's where we are right now. 6-3, Columbus in the lead. Shots on goal, 18 for the River Dragons in period number two, 32 for the game. And just six in the period for Mississippi. They have 16 for the contest. How about the River Dragons? Two power play goals on three chances in period number two. They're now three for six tonight. Last night, they were three for six on the power play. So now six for 12, 50% on the power play for the River Dragons in this weekend series against the Seawolves. That is absolutely phenomenal when you think about it. No power play chances officially for the Seawolves. They are working on chance number three here. But as I mentioned, that carries over with Bersani. One minute, 46 seconds in that high sticking call against Bersani into the third period. So... That's our look at the scoring wrap. We'll take a break. When we come back, it'll be the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Zelmo's Zip-In. And then we're going to meet a brand-new member of this River Dragons broadcast staff, so stay tuned for that. We'll introduce you to Noah Shelton. Well, unless you're a baseball fan, then you already know Noah, but that's all right. We're going to come back and talk to him in just a moment. Stay tuned. The Shredaway second period intermission report continues. This is River Dragons Hockey. At the Country Inn and Suites by Radisson, you'll enjoy comfortable accommodations close to Columbus State University, Fort Benning, and of course, the River Dragons games. Conveniently located at 1720 Fountain Court in Columbus, you'll be minutes away from all your favorite Columbus destinations. Free high-speed Wi-Fi and hot breakfast always available too. So whether you're staying for business or for pleasure, make your next stay in Columbus a comfortable one at the official hotel partner of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites by Radisson. The Jersey Shop specializes in screen printing, embroidery, direct-to-garment printing, and vinyl heat press lettering and numbering. We provide custom t-shirts for any occasion and have a graphic designer on staff to make the logos or graphics needed to make your shirts unique. We pride ourselves on being able to deliver orders of any size at low competitive cost with no minimum quantity. That's why the River Dragons trust the Jersey Shop for all of their uniform needs. Call 706-565-4245. That's 565-4245. Join the voice of the River Dragons, Tom Callahan, every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. for the River Dragons Coaches Show on 106.9 Really Rocks. They'll discuss the latest happenings, upcoming games, and more. To me, as a goalie, it's a, it's a matter of how you are able to deal with the pressure and if you don't crumble under the pressure. And you got to have a short memory. The River Dragons Coaches Show, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. on 106.9 Really Rocks. Let Shred Away, a division of the Overby Company, take care of all your document shredding needs. We can design a custom shredding program for your business today. No need to purchase equipment, no maintenance expenses, no need to prepare records for destruction, increase employee productivity, increase security, no worry. Was it really destroyed? Right now, all new customers can receive 10% off. Shred Away, a division of the Overby Company, locally owned and operated in downtown Columbus. That's Shred Away, 706-577-9668. It's the fifth anniversary 
anniversary season of Columbus River Dragons hockey and RiverDragonsMerch.com has everything you need, including our new limited edition anniversary look. Our DragonsMerch.com has something for all ages with a variety of hats, shirts, jackets, and more. Plus, cool souvenir items like the always popular fan chains, pucks, and keychains. Want to order a gift for someone? We'll ship it for you. Just go online to OurDragonsMerch.com. And we are back here in the second period intermission report brought to you by Shred Away. Tom Callahan here with you. We're going to be joined by Noah Shelton in just a moment here. First, we're going to get to the Zelmo Zippin out of town scoreboard and taking a look at what's going on out of town right now. It's a final for the Winston Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Carolina Thunderbirds 4 3 winners over the Danbury Hattricks. Blue Ridge Bobcats with a 1 0 lead in the third period over the Baton Rouge Zynaco. Port here on 3-2 over the Elmira River Sharks. That came just into the third period. And still scoreless through two periods at Watertown Arena, Motor City, and the Watertown Wolves. In the NHL today, NHL All-Star Game action. Team McDavid, 4-3 winners over Team McKinnon. So they head to the final. By the way, that was a shootout. As Team Matthews, 6-5 winners over Team Hughes, also in a shootout. And so the All-Star final, Team Matthews defeats Team McDavid 7-4. And, uh, boy, Austin Matthews had himself a heck of a day. And he scores twice in that final game to help his eponymous team to the victory. Men's college basketball games going on right now at the half. Number 18, Baylor, leads number 12, Iowa State, 40-28. to In the first half, just under eight minutes to go, number 5, Tennessee, 36-22 over number 10, Kentucky. Late in the first half, number 24, Alabama, 39-22 over Mississippi State. Finals from earlier, number one, UConn beats St. John's. Number nine, Marquette tops Georgetown. Number 25, TCU beaten by Texas. San Diego State downs number 17, Utah State. Number eight, Kansas beat number four, Houston. UCF beat number 23, Oklahoma. Cincinnati beat number 15, Texas Tech. Number 16, Auburn wins at Ole Miss. Number 20, Florida Atlantic takes care of Tulsa. Number 22, BYU beats West Virginia. And number three, North Carolina beats number seven, Duke. Well, we could talk some SEC with the next guy coming in here because uh, he is a graduate of an SEC school. And Mr. Noah Shelton, who joins us as an associate broadcaster here. And he's also going to be out there doing some sales for this Ignite Sports staff. But Noah... Welcome in. I wanted to be the first to say, hey, it's great to have you back on board. Yes, sir. But now it's hockey season. Yes, sir. No, it absolutely is. Had a lot of fun in the summer calling Hoots games and Monsters games and now getting to call River Dragons games with you and be just associated with the staff. Really a great atmosphere tonight. Something I really haven't seen in the Civic Center. I was going to ask you, so you're you're a local guy, and you went to school at Alabama, yeah. just graduated, and now why don't you tell the folks a little bit about yourself first here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Noah Shelton. I just graduated from the University of Alabama with a degree in sports, media, and marketing. I graduated from Gloomwood School just across the river in Phoenix City back in 2020. I joined Tom for some uh, Hoots games and Monsters games last summer over at Golden Park. Also some called some high school basketball uh, called the AISA State Championship Basketball Games last February, and uh, just looking forward to working with you guys, and uh, y'all really put on a first-class first pr pr production, that's for sure. Well, and Noah, it, in the future, you're going to see Noah in various places, not only on the broadcast, but also hopefully on the team website, social media, and also involved in our coaches' show programming as well here. So uh, as we get Noah up to speed, he's also going to be doing some sales here, Noah. So I know we got to get your name out yep. there. And uh, make sure the folks know who you are as well. I like to do the same for Kirk Underwood, yeah, yeah. but he's busy right now. Yeah, I'm sure he is. 6-3 six, three, six, three lead for the Dragons. First period, very back and forth, very competitive. But the second period, you saw just the offense. Justin McDonald and Kyle. How about the streak that Kyle Moore is on right now, man? It's it's really a once-in-a-lifetime kind of streak. 21 in a row now, I believe. Well, that's McDonald. McDonald's, McDonald's me, me. got 21 in a row, yeah. and then Moore's up to 10. Okay. And, I, well, those two, I mean, yeah. just incredible right now. They're just crushing it. And they're not doing it with a point here, a point there. I mean, we're talking multi-point games across the board for these guys. Look, at, I think J-Mac, let me go back and look at my score sheet here. Three assists tonight for Justin McDonald. And then Kyle Moore has a goal and two helpers tonight. So, I mean, three points. 
for both of them. And it just, it's just, it's incredible how hot they are right now. Yeah. No, it really is. And it's, it's incredible how hot the team is in general. I mean, 10 in a row, first place in the Continental is just, can't say enough of what Boom Boom Bichard's done with this with this team so far this season. Absolutely. And, uh, well, Noah, this is your first experience with Military Night. I was fortunate yes. enough to, to feel this last year, but what are your thoughts? Oh, I mean, I think it's absolutely great. We, you know, we have many military families around the area with Fort Moore, you know, not far away. And, you know, I think the jerseys, jerseys we wore tonight, absolutely great. They look fantastic. And it's just great to have our military out and treat them for a night. They do so much for us, so much that we don't even think of and we take for granted. Uh, frankly, every day is just – it feels good to pay, give them a little bit of payback and, you know, treat them for a night. Absolutely. Well, Noah, thanks for joining us here ever so briefly. We're definitely going to hear more from you here in the very near future. Thank you very much, Tom. All right, that's Noah Shelton, and I'm Tom Callahan, and that is it for your Shutaway Second Period Intermission Report. When we come back, third period action. River Dragons up 6-3 against the Mississippi Seawolves. More coming your way on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Let Shredaway, a division of the Overbee Company, take care of all your document shredding needs. We can design a custom shredding program for your business today. No need to purchase equipment, no maintenance expenses, no need to prepare records for destruction, increase employee productivity, increase security, no worry. Was it really destroyed? Right now, all new customers can receive 10% off. Shredaway, a division of the Overbee Company, locally owned and operated in downtown Columbus. That's Shredaway, 706-577-9668. In 1999, Watley Convenience Stores opened its first Zelmo Zip-In. Since then, the brand has grown to include 11 stores in the Chattahoochee Valley and southwest Georgia. Zelmo's is an anchor in the communities it operates in. Our managers, employees, and vendors are all an integral part of the neighborhoods and communities we serve. We are proud to call these areas home and plan to continue growing with and serving the communities of West Georgia and East Alabama. Zelmo's, fueling life's passions. Columbus, Georgia is considered by some as the hockey town of the South, boasting pro hockey since 1996. But 80 years before that first puck drop, another Chattahoochee Valley favorite got its start, Piggly Wiggly. Come on down to find a great selection of fresh meats and produce for your family's next meal or your next tailgate. We're proud to root for the hometown River Dragons because we've been the hometown team since forever. Piggly Wiggly, down home, down the street. Vector Ply Corporation is a world-leading manufacturer of carbon, fiberglass, and Kevlar composite fabrics located in Phoenix City, Alabama. Our customers depend on us to produce iconic brands such as Malibu and Nautique Boat and the historic C8 mid-engine Corvette. Even the light poles surrounding the Columbus Civic Center were produced by a Vector Ply customer using Vector Ply fabrics. If you're looking for an exciting career with a growing manufacturer located right here in the Chattahoochee Valley, visit our website, VectorPly.com. You know that sound anywhere. It's the crisp crunch of that first nacho chip. With its perfect cheese to sour cream ratio sitting atop a layer of delicious beans, it's a sip away from perfection. That's what we're looking for. Add a delicious, refreshing Pepsi and we've achieved absolute nacho nirvana. Because while you can pile those nachos high with every spicy, cheesy, savory topping, there's no topping a cool Pepsi finish. Nachos, better with Pepsi. That's what I like. Columbus Diagnostic Center, the area's clear choice for diagnostic imaging. CDC Northside features the area's first and only 3T MRI, the most powerful MRI available, and our new 64-slice CT scanner, cutting-edge imaging that's available at both locations. For over 30 years, patient comfort, lower costs, and uncompromising dedication remain our top priority. Clearer results for a more accurate diagnosis. Columbus Diagnostic Center and CDC Northside, technology with a human touch. And we're back for third period action presented by Kinetic Credit Union. Tom Callahan here with you. River Dragons have one minute, 46 seconds. A penalty time to kill off Hunter Bersani in the box. High sticking the call. 6-3 River Dragons here in the third. Seawolves on the power play for, well, really what could decide the way this third period goes. If Mississippi's able to come out, get an early goal here, they can make a game of it because certainly they're no stranger to putting pucks in the net. However, the opportunity will begin slipping away and Columbus did score four goals in the second. 
Face off at center one back by the River Dragons. It'll be chased back down and they will start with a clear. Learakos picks it up and immediately starts forward, leaving it off behind him. Here's Turner. Learakos on the left wing to the line off Petrantonio. Tied up in a pile here. And Petrantonio able to push it to center, trying to kick it along. Learakos stole it back. In on the left wing side. Learakos in front for a chance. Colgan coming to his left, made the save. Puck is not out of danger, though. Turner up top. And now it's picked away from Koch. Stretching for it, Underwood, and he got it over to Petrantonio, sends it down the ice. Quick stretch on the left side into the skates of Stoya. He moves it in over the line, but the River Dragons did get their change through. Shot by Learakos, pinballs out off the shin pads of Storjahan. And back in Mississippi, left side Learakos into space, Koshim with a shot, glove save, and it's knocked down and held by Colgan. Exactly one minute into this third period, 6-3. River Dragons leading the Seawolves. 47 seconds left to go on the man advantage. Face off handled by Wickline in against Wong. Wong winning it back. Lind at the left point on the line. Keeps it in. Stoya cross ice. Learakos in front. And that one is knocked away by Colgan. Around to the left point it comes. Stoya on it. Lost it. Just completely fanned on it at the blue line. Out it goes. Mississippi on the regroup. Wong. Ran into Koch at the line. Wong ends up with it. Feeds it to an open wing, but River Dragons able to clear again. Storjohan will push shorthanded. Shot from the left side, save made Deloisio. He played it. So Wong did not expect that, and Stordahan almost stole it back. Right. Left wingers, Koch. Power play is over. Centering feed, and they score. Not a power play goal, but Yanni Liarakos scores 151 into this third period. And this one is not over. Mississippi with the early goal gets themselves right back in it. Boy, Leo Rakos is just, at times he picks a team up, wants to carry it on his back, and he's capable of doing it. And so he makes it 6-4, and the crowd gets a little quieter, but now the referee is over-checking something in the Mississippi bench. It looks like something may have broken over there. It sounded like Mississippi. I thought I heard one of the gates slam over there, and now all of a sudden they're looking at one of the gates there. Right at that Pepsi Dasher, they're examining something. Entirely sure what happened. I wonder, perhaps. Well, interesting. There was a a piece of clear plexiglass. It looks like over that Pepsi Dasher there, and they took it off. Something might have come off the door there. And now they're working a little further down the wall in front of the Mississippi bench. I think they're just going to try to tape this one up. Do a little bit of board repair. You know what? When you're a linesman or a referee, not only do you have to know the rules of hockey, but you also have to be a bit of a home handyman. You've got to know how to repair ice. You've got to know how to handle a squeegee pretty well, sometimes a screwdriver, maybe a roll of tape or two. Oh, and also, if you're a linesman, when you go to break up fights, you might get punched in the head. It's one of the, uh, the hazards of the job. 
151 into this third period. It's 6-4 now as the Seawolves have scored here to open things up. We're at five on five hockey here as the River Dragons fling it ahead. Krupp racing in and he will win the race here. Icing waved off. Tied up in behind the net. Bersani on the far side over there looking for a little bit of help. Doe approaching the pile. Pulls the puck out. Doe looking in front. Wiggles his way into the backhand. Had it taken away. Kuznetsov coming back down low there to help out defensively. Puck away to center. Duncan quickly on the right side to Krupp. Krupp will turn it in. Right back up the far side. Deloisio playing it around to Kuznetsov. Krupp on it. There's a chance in front. Doe went for the tip. Missed the far side. Doe in the slot. Looking to feed it over. Turned away by Anderson. And now to center is Lisio. Left wing to Kuznetsov. His wrist shot tipped to the glass by Duncan. Picked up by Doe. Doe feels the pressure there in the corner. Lost the puck. Kuznetsov tried to center, but put it right into the skates of Doe. Doe behind his own goal. River Dragons ahead now. Feed ahead to Krupp. Krupp will just wedge it down. Lind after the bouncing puck. They see no icing with Duncan up on the forecheck. Here's McDonald out there. He'll be followed by Moore and Hunter. Lead at center, picked off by Frazio, gets it back. Looking for McDonald into the right side corner. To Moore. Moore back to her feed, tipped away from Hunter. Wong the other way. Here's Barr at center. Dumps it in, a bouncer that Colgan will leave aside. Here's Underwood, right side. Frazio looking ahead. His pass through center, tipped on down. Hunter looking the other way off the glass, and it bounces back into the River Dragons end of things, chased down by Moore. Moore will kick it around to himself on the far side. Played up the wall to the line, not out. Kept into the right side corner, Leirakos, checked off by Underwood. Underwood moving it ahead. Here's McDonald. McDonald pushing it ahead. Underwood up on the forecheck into the right wing. Russell behind the net. McDonald trying to push it free. Stoya running into traffic over there. Forcing the puck to the near side. Russell on a roller here. Has to curl back. Columbus will head for the change. Koch in over the line for Mississippi. Left side of Leo Rakos. Feet across the slot. Nobody there. Now there's a stretch and a bouncer. Oh, just deflected away. Otherwise, Jamaev had a break. D'Aloisio playing it around. Stoya. Storjahan swings it towards the net. Too far for Wickline. Storjahan trying to keep it at the point. Cannot. Kicked ahead. Mississippi will dump it in. Both teams looking to get a change again here as it's sent back the other way into the Seawolves' end. Five minutes gone here in this third period. 6 4 River Dragons. That one misses on the pass down. Goes for an icing call. And it's going to get us to a break, 5.04 into the third period. This third period is brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union, River Dragon 6, Sea Wolves 4. We are back with more Columbus River Dragons hockey in just a moment. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. 6-4 Columbus in the lead. 5-0-4 here into the third period. Let's go Dragons indeed. Third period brought to you by Kinetic Credit Union. Faceoff coming up to the left. 
of D'Aloisio in the Seawolves goal. He's seen 33 shots from Columbus. 20 for the Seawolves tonight. Learacos in across from Bersani. If they get this puck dropped here, Learacos has to restage, and he wins it back. Seawolves looking to move it out to center. They will dump it on in, a bouncer in on Colgan that he just traps and holds. Faceoff will stay in the Columbus end of things here. Slowing down just a little bit here since the goal by Mississippi to open this third period. Face off tied up in the dot to the left of Colgan. Swung around to the near side. Here's Petrantonio. We're going to move that one ahead. On the right side, Doe. Doe try to push in over the line. Seawolves curl back with it. Lissio will leave it off. Turner on to the right side. Ahead through center, that puck dumped in. Ends up back with Gill. Gill will flip it onto the left wing. Shinkarik curling back at his own end. Has to leave it back off for Gill, who scrambles back for it. Feeds Shinkarik. Columbus elects to go all the way behind its own net here. And now the stretch pass ahead, tipped down by Doe. River Dragons grabbing a change while Bersani stays up on the forecheck. Lead through center. Bach will turning it back, but it was intercepted. Barr stumbled, though, as he tried to get in. And now right back the other way. Here is Hunter trying to poke it ahead to himself. Could not. Bockwell chips it back too far for more. Mississippi regrouping. And turning it over. Just outside the line. Hunter back in. Cross ice feed. McDonald back to Hunter. Can he get a shot away? He pushed it through the crease. McDonald tried to put it around the rim. Odd kick off the puck board in the Seawolves away. Bar on the left side, leaving it off the line. He put it right out. Columbus once again, that's twice tonight. This line has kind of passed itself out of scoring chances. And they've got several points already on the board tonight, but boy, you kind of wish somebody would take a rip. Here's Hunter, and he does just that with a long-range wrister. Glove saved by D'Aloisio. And he'll hang on. Not quite seven minutes into this third period. After tonight, the River Dragons, two games next Friday and Saturday. Friday night, the Baton Rouge Giants go back in town on the 9th. Then on the 10th, we see the Seawolves again, and that is youth hockey night. So while supplies last, fans 12 and under will receive a Timbits youth hockey jersey. Once they're gone, they're gone, and you must be present to claim your jersey. That's also our next family four-pack night. Presented by Chick-fil-A, Midland, and Kissin' 99.3. Tell you about that in a minute. Here's Wickline. Right side corner. He'll curl. Spins the defenseman right down into the ice. Kept into the right point by Underwood. Wickline into the slot area, and that's knocked away to center. Columbus trying to dump it back in. Learacos playing it the other way. Stepping in. Koch leaving Learacos in the high slot, cutting to his left. Learacos waiting for some help, fed it into space, and now we have a penalty in behind the play on the River Dragons. Slashing will be the call. So the family four-pack includes four tickets to that February 10th game, Youth Hockey Night. And it also includes four Pepsi products, four popcorn, four hot dogs, and four coupons for Chick-fil-A sandwiches. All for just $40. That's over $100 in value. Only available through the River Dragons office. Give us a call, 706-507-4625. 507-4625. And you can buy the remaining three family four-pack games. The next one coming up March 16th, Faith and Family Night, after this one on February 10th. And then Fan Appreciation Night, April 13th, the final regular season home game. Let's sell that game out with four-packs. Let's do it. And again, only through the River Dragons office. Fantastic deal. Hope to see you out there. Slashing Ant Storjahan as he's into that Abercrombie bonding penalty box. 7.23 time of the penalty. Seawolves power play number four. They're 0 for 3. Shot coming in on Colgan is tip wide. 
this could really change the tenor of this hockey game here. Seawolf scored just at the expiration of the power play earlier. It was not a power play goal, but it happened before Bersani got back in the play. Here's Leirakos at the point with a shot right into the chest protector of Colgan. He folds down on that one and hangs on. 26 seconds gone by in the man advantage. Leo Rocco's the only goal of the period at 151. Draw to the left of Colgan. Wong in for the faceoff. One back by McDonald. Columbus a chance to clear around to the near side. Petrantonio will pound it down. D'Aloisio leaves it for Turner. Eight minutes into the third period. 6-4 Columbus. The Arakos pressured by Jamaev had to hurry a pass. And that allows Columbus to clear as Gill finds a seam and gets it down. Seawolves regroup. Mississippi pushing in on the right side. Stoya shot was blocked by Bockwell. And now a chance to clear on the near side. Off the dasher, down it goes. Bersani will head off after that clear. 38 seconds ago in the Seawolves power players. Helland in on the line. Knocked off his stick. Stoya jams it to the far corner. Bach will after it. His first clearing attempt is blocked. Second one tipped by McDonald to the point, not out. Leirakos leaving it up top. Stoya's shot hit McDonald. Here's Leirakos feeding it across past Helen to the right point, Lind. Lind, Rister, blocked by traffic, hit Leirakos. Lind down low, feeds it. Koch left half wall, but he coughed it up. But turned over in the slot. Leirakos leaving it off. Helen back over Leirakos. A shot, he scores. That one leaks through Colgan. A power play goal, and I know Colgan wants that one back. It's 6-5, and Leirakos has the hat trick. Oh, that's a tough one. That is, that is a tough one to give up. The natives are restless here in Columbus. Here are the Seawolves trying to move it away to center. We're back at five on five here now. Seawolves one for four in the power play. Slahetka. Bouncing one around to the far side. Jamev couldn't get it out. Kept into the slot. Storjahan. Left side, Jamev had to wick line. Back to Jamev. Wick line. Jamev in the left half wall. To the left point, Slahetko over to the right side. Frazio. Frazio puts it around behind the rim. Left side, Jamev on the half boards trying to get there first. All the way up to the line has to carry it out to center. Columbus regrouping just past the halfway mark here of this third period. 6-5, Columbus in the lead. Here's Slahetk up the right side. Try to one-handed pass Turner who cut it off of the wall. Back in left side, leaving it for Barr, but nice job by Frazio to stand him up. And it'll go on to the left wing. Trying to work his way in there. Wick line tonight. Turn away to center. River Dragons. Regrouping D to D quickly. Right side here. Shinkarik out there. He'll send it across. A bouncing puck. Tip behind Moore. Hunter ends up with it. Hunter quickly looping at center. Getting right back in. Hunter to the backhand. A shot. Eloisio the same going to his left. No rebound. 9.02 to go in the third. 6-5. Columbus in the lead. Back with more of the Kinetic Credit Union third period in just a moment on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external accounts, get money faster by setting up recurring transfers, 
and I can find the nearest ATM or branch right from my phone. Plus, I can add my Kinetic cards to my phone's digital wallet and enjoy quick, secure, contactless payments. By the way, Mom, I need some more money. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. I'm thirsty. Try this. Starry. It's a new lemon lime soda that's crisp, clear, and... So refreshing. So tasty. What the? Just let it happen. No! Oh, chill. He was a soda. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. It's different. Even though I'm away at college, Kinetic Credit Union is still the best way for me to stay connected here and at home. With the Kinetic mobile app, I have control of my accounts wherever I go. I can easily transfer money between internal and external. Dragons leading the Seawolves. Columbus with a face-off coming up to the left of D'Aloisio in the Seawolves goal. Mississippi just not going quietly. Boy, this game absolutely just has been a crazy one. Back and forth the entire time. And now the puck won back by Mississippi around to the left point. Shinkara will decide to carry it back out as it's sent back in around the rim. Tied up to the far side. Doe over after it. The pile forms in that far corner. Puck's not going anywhere. Ref wants him to move it. Now it was finally pulled free. Petrantonio in the slot. A shot towards the net. Deflected. Bersani in front. Looking for Doe, and he just had it knocked away by D'Aloisio. Petrantonio off angle shot. D'Aloisio the save. Faceoff will come to his right. 8.20 to go in this third period. Columbus. 6-5, leading Mississippi. It's George Hanna with Wickline and Jemaeth. Puck one to the left point. Columbus keeping it in. Clearing attempt. That one hits Wickline. Stays in that far side corner. Stoya on it. He'll feed it back, looking for Russell. Russell lifts a wedge out to center. That bouncer comes down there with Gill coming back for it. Getting it ahead, and here's Wickline turning back. Has help, tried to thread it across it. Nilsson with it. Jamaev tried to steal it back from Nilsson. Nilsson, a lot of trouble with this, and escapes. Jamaev tying him up. They go behind the net. Wickline looking to pull it out of the pile. Kick to him. He feeds it around to the left point. And now fed up top here, Shinkarik backing up through traffic, a shot tipped to the glass, bounces right back out in front. It's cleared away up the slot to the line and still not out. Storja Hahn keeping it in. Comes over to the near side. Learakos, Wick line, knocked it away to center. Coach with a lead ahead, Learakos in on the left wing, carrying it around behind the net, left it on to the near side. Leo Rocco's with a hat trick. He's got a chance in the slot again. A shot and a diving block there by Shinkarik. Well, he's had a long shift. That one is ripped wide of the net. Comes all the way around the dasher out to center. Down to seven to go in the third. Six, five. River Dragons leading the Seawolves. And now McDonald stepping forward, stealing the puck on the left side. His pass block came back to him. McDonald on the left side wall trying to get through. Here's Moore cutting around. Russell chipping it up the near side boards. Not out. McDonald stole it back again. Fed back to the far side by Lambert. Moore on the left wing. Wong in that pile now. Down low. McDonald looking in front of the backhand. Feeds it up to the left point. Set right back down the rim. Banked off the back of the net. Around the glass near side. That one. Finds Lissio and he moves ahead with Helen. Lissio on the left wing. Tipped into the corner. Colgan way out to play it. Sends it around the rim. Here's McDonald. He'll push it to center. Down the ice. It goes past Learakos. They say no icing. Seawolves on the regroup. Six minutes to go in the third. River Dragon six. Seawolves five. This is going to be icing. Against Mississippi. 
Don't forget, tonight following the game, there is a post-game party with the River Dragons at the Loft. We hope to see you out there downtown. Of course, the Loft has live music every Friday and Saturday night, and anytime you show your River Dragons ticket stuff, you get a two-for-one deal on cover at the Loft. Face off to the left of the Seawolves goal. That one is tied up on the dot. Pulled free, there's a chance in front of the backhand. Bersani couldn't get a shot away, feeds up top. Here's Doe, score! Austin Doe from the high slot with a wrist shot that beats Deloisio to make it seven to five with 5.42 to go in the third. Austin Doe's got a second of the night, 14th of the season. And it couldn't have come at a more important time. That goal is absolutely huge. Seven to five, Columbus. Puck jumped into the Columbus end here. Patrick Antonio an assist as well. There's a shot coming in and a blocker save there on that blast from Nilsson. And now here's Bruschani pushing the puck in and moving up with the forecheck while his line mates change. Cleared around past him on the near side. Leo Rocos lifting it through center. Takes a bump there. Nilsson tried to dump it in. And Columbus slow it down on the regroup here. Frazier will take it all the way in behind his own net and reset the breakout. Under five to go now. Mississippi, boy, they press all the time. Here's Shinkarik pushing ahead, though. He's in, feeds Jamea for right side of the dot. His shot fought down by the glove of D'Aloisio and held for the faceoff. 437 to go here in period number three. River Dragons seven, Sea Wolves five. Back with war in a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. We all dream, but dreams quickly become distant memories unless we do something about it. Do everything in our power to learn to lead. At Troy University, we teach everyone to be leaders in their field. We're dedicated to teaching a new generation to lead change. always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. 7-5, Columbus River Dragons leading the Mississippi Seawolves. Tom Callahan here with you and a sold-out cast of 7,000-plus here tonight at the Columbus Civic Center. Josh Petrantonio and Yanni Liaraco spent most of that break, I'll say, uh, engaged in conversation at the referee's crease with the referee. There is certainly an awful lot of animosity as the clock ticks down in this one. And this game's not over. Mississippi's a quick strike team. Columbus has scored seven as well. The River Dragons can put the puck in the net. Seven to five. I don't know if that's your final. We're going to have to find out together here, though. 4.22 to go as Mississippi in the offensive zone. Lissio pushing it around to the far side. Shinkarik. Storjahan, right wing to Wickline. Wickline into space, looking for Jemayev. He'll track it into the left side corner. Jemayev tried to spin away from Turner. Wrapped up there, Wong behind the net. Be able to push past Wickline. Wong with a lead at center. That went off a skate, glove down, but McDonald couldn't hang on to the puck. Frazio, left wing ahead. Here's Hunter. Hunter moving in, has McDonald in front, gets it towards him, but oh, just tipping it away as Lynn. McDonald on it again to Hunter at the circle. He lost it. And now the Seawolves to center. 
Nilsson, right side, he'll fire it in. Seawolves to the change. Tree turdy tree to go into third. Puck out to center, 7 to 5. Columbus in the lead. Nilsson, near side. Learakos with it. Flips it to the far side. McDonald popped it out of the air. And a bouncing puck. He flings it ahead a little too far for Hunter. Deflected back into the Columbus zone. Underwood swings it around to the far side. Looking for help from Gill. Puts his man into the boards. Chopped out. Hunter out to center. And now here we go. McDonald moving up with Moore. McDonald left side to Moore. Pass a little too far in front of him. Moore has to curl on the wall, but keeps the puck. Looking in front, Kyle Moore with a shot and a glove save to Aloisio. He'll hold on, 2.49 to go into third. Now the question, this becomes interesting, is the Seawolves, who have been shorthanded here, most of this weekend, earlier today on the transactions, I noticed they released Joe Pace. So Joe is not on the bench here. Now he's not dressed. So the Seawolves, I'm not even entirely sure who registers as the Seawolves. You expect the Seawolves to call a timeout and try to pull the goaltender. So when does that happen? Who's making that call? I imagine it's got to be Leo Rocco's or maybe Justin Barr, the captain. But they got to figure something out here. Here's Stoya up top of the shot towards the net. That one goes wide. And now it's battled towards the line and kicked at. River Dragons trying to get it out. Petrantonio can't clear. Doe with a chance. He can't clear. Stoya right side with a shot. Oh, off the head of Colgan. Popped his lid off. And that popped not one but two straps. Man, what are they making these clips out of these days? I cannot, I don't know why, but in the last couple of years, we've seen goaltenders' helmets just pop apart every time they get hit in the head. Now, again, I'm a big fan of the international hockey rule where if the goalie gets hit in the head, they blow the play dead. Like, again, player safety issue. I'm fine with that. That's fine. It, it will balance out for both teams. All right, now we get a timeout by Mississippi. So the answer to when is 2.07 to go in the third period. As they call the timeout, we'll gather at the bench. So now the other thing we need to keep an eye on is whether or not D'Aloisio, who is still on the ice right now, just kind of getting a sip of water over there and talking to Blake Wyrick, his goaltending counterpart. But does he come off yet? Because Mississippi needs two. And I think that's what D'Aloisio is going to try to find out right now. He's staying on the ice for now. I am a little surprised at that. Five on five. Now, D'Aloisio is at the hash marks. I guess they can see if they want to start with possession or not. As Stoya shoving in the far side over there with one of the River Dragons. Wong in for this face-off here. Bumped by Storjahan, but Wong keeps it in. Wyrick waving his counterpart over to the bench, and there goes D'Aloisio, the net's empty. Puck to the point, Seawolves left side. Here's Leirakos with a shot and a blocker save there by Colgan. Puck ends up in the near corner. 1.48 to go, six on five. Mississippi net is empty. It's 7-5 Columbus. They clear to the line, Laracos knocks it down, he keeps it in, feeds Fardon, a shot save, May Colgan to his left, rebound he covers. And Bach will shove him behind the net with Helland. A 
Well, Lucas Helen is not going to win any popularity contest in this building anytime soon. So Dalloisio remains on the bench with 136 to go in the third. Seven to five, River Dragons leading the Sea Wolves. They finally put the puck down. Colgan out to play it around to the side of his own net. Right to McDonald, who will fling it down the ice. And gloved down by Leracos. Played at center. Koch has to turn back to his own line. Leracos flips it in on the right wing. Koch, Bockwell on him in the corner. Bockwell. McDonald in the pile. McDonald a backhand. Can't clear it out. Helen's shot is blocked by traffic. Ends up in the near corner. Long behind the net. Far side, Bockwell. Doe, can he get it out? No, second attempt, and now it's cleared out and down wide of the empty net. That's an icing call against the River Dragons with 56.6 seconds to go in the third. Seawolves net is empty. Mississippi has already called its timeout. Wong and across from Petrantonio for the faceoff. Wong wins it back. Left point, Turner. Left half off. Stoya with his shot. That's blocked by Shinkarik. Wong tried to center. Fan on it, has it. On to the right side. Nelly Rocco's to the near dot. Stoya can't shoot. Backs up with it. Looks up top. Gets it across. Turner. Right side corner, Liracos over, Stoya one time, ripped to the glass, around it comes, and now Doe up with it, he's got a chance at center. He'll get it across to McDonald, McDonald looks at the empty net, and a diving block of the puck by Liracos, keeping it out. 21 seconds to go here in regulation, but the Seawolves are going to run out of time. Coach on the left side, puck turned over, flung to the empty net, they score! How about that one? Shin Carrick from his own faceoff dot. A rainbow into the far goal to wrap up an 8-5 win for the Columbus River Dragons. For Shinkarik, that's his second goal of the night. It comes at 19.47. The goaltender back in for Mississippi, and that'll do it. As the Seawolves take it behind their own net, clock runs out, and the game is over. River Dragons win it on Military Appreciation Night, 8-5 over the Mississippi Seawolves. Let's move into the Pepsi post game show. When we come back, three stars of the game coming your way and a whole lot more. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Columbus River Dragons hockey. We take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. 
It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app. Only at Tim Hortons. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money, make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic mobile app, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Introducing New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Music to my ears. You don't have ears. Starry, it's different. Back here in the Pepsi Post Game Show, Tom Callahan here with your River Dragons winning over the Seawolves tonight, 8-5. Boy, there's a lot of candidates for the three stars of the game here tonight. If you ask me, plenty of guys could end up on this sheet. So let's turn it over to PA announcer Dana Parker and let's find out who our three stars of the game are tonight. Brought to you by Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Scorch and Torch. They're waiting for that announcement here in just a minute. Just kind of looking over the sheet here. You had Storjahan two point night, Justin McDonald three assists, Petrantonio goal and two assists. And here we go, three stars. There's your three stars of the game brought to you by Wade Cleaners, the official cleaners of Scorch and Torch. Back to wrap up the scoring. One more look at the Selmos up and out of town. Scoreboard more coming your way. This is the Pepsi Post Game Show. River Dragons win at 8-5 over the Seawolves on Columbus River Dragons Hockey. You can win a Chevy Trail Boss pickup or your share of $25,000 in free play and cash at Victory Land Casino. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Play the latest, most exciting games around with fun bonuses and big jackpot. You can be a winner, too. Come win your share during the Trail Boss and $25,000 giveaway at Victory Land Casino. Drawings February 9th and 10th off I-85, exit 22, Shorter, Alabama. Must be 21 or older. Must be present to win. I'm thirsty. Try this. Starry. It's a new lemon-lime soda that's crisp, clear, and... So refreshing. So tasty. What the? Shh, just let it happen. Ouch! 
true. He was a soda. New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. It's different. in being a part of our community and we're committed to seeing it grow we continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference together we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities but more importantly one that connects us all we want to ensure reliability so for this reason we're willing to go the extra mile we aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too because at beam community is not just a place it's the way we do business Post game show, Tom Callahan here with you. And uh, boy, I tell you what, everybody gets to go home happy tonight, but boy, they did not waste any time. The sold out crowd, they have funneled out of here. It was a long night, but a good night. 8 5. This scoring wrap might take a minute. So if you're on your drive home, you can carry us home on 1069 Really Rocks. Hope that you uh, get a chance to listen into us here tonight. And a fantastic night, Military Appreciation Night. Another sellout, second consecutive year. Military Appreciation Night is sold out here, and the building was absolutely rocking tonight. 13 goals. 13 goals we have to wrap up here, so let's uh, let's get right to it, shall we? The River Dragons started the scoring off in this one as part of this offensive outburst. And Austin Doe, tonight's first start, kicked it off just 5.53 into the opening frame. His 13th of the season from Krupp and Bersani, and it's one nothing Columbus. But then Yanni Leorakos, who had the hat trick tonight, his first to three from Russell and Helen at 8.52. Game's tied at one. River Dragons then strike on the power play as Kyle Moore, his 16th of the season from Justin McDonald and Alex Storjahan at 11.22. With that, Moore extends his point streak to 10 games, and McDonald now 21 games with a point. Unbelievable stretch for Justin McDonald. 2-1 River Dragons at that point. Lissio would score from Leorakos and Lynn to 15.27. 2-2 after one period of play. In the second, the River Dragons started to separate themselves. It started with the Storjahan power play goal at 157 for his 13th from Doe and McDonald. And then a couple more from Columbus at 315. Jay Krupp, his third of the year from Slahetka and Petrantonio. And then at 512, Shinkarik, his first of two on the night from Moore and Brennan Colgan picking up the assist on that one. At that point, the River Dragons are out in front, 5-2. Right after that goal, though, River Dragon scored 5-12. Matt Stoya scores at 5-51. His seventh of the year from Turner and Leorakos. And all of a sudden, you can never feel comfortable with the Seawolves because they are a team that can score goals in bunches. They often do. And it makes it 5-3, but the River Dragons get the momentum back. A 5-on-3 power play goal for Petrantonio, his 14th of the year for Moore and McDonald. And that rounded out the scoring in the second period. River Dragons had a 6-3 lead heading into the third. However, it became the Yanni Liriaco show in the third, 151 in, an even strength goal just after the end of a Seawolves power play is 28th from Koch. And then at 920 on the power play, Liriacos is 29th from Koch and Helen to complete the hat trick. All of a sudden, it was a little tense in here. And the River Dragons up by a goal, 6-5, and that continued for the next five minutes until 14-18 when Austin Doe set up in the slot by Bersani. His wrist shot beats D'Aloisio on the blocker side for his 14th of the year. Second of the night, Petrantonio also picks up the helper on the goal, and that would give the River Dragons some breathing room. Then late in the game, Carter Shinkarik into the empty net for his second of the night at 1947. That caps the scoring in this one. Shots on goal in the game. River Dragons by period 14 in the first, 18 in the second, just seven in the third, but 39 total. 10, 6, and 12 for 28 for Mississippi. Power plays. River Dragons again dominant with a man advantage tonight. Three for six in total. They were also three for six last night. 50% for the River Dragons on the power play this weekend. Six for 12. One for four for the Seawolves on the power play here this evening. All right, time for one more break here in this Pepsi Post Game Show. When we come back, it's the out of town scoreboard. Not only do we have a look around the FPHL, we'll wrap up the NHL All Star Game for you and some men's college hoop scores coming your way as well. 
8-5. River Dragons win it here tonight. Stay tuned. More coming your way on this Pepsi postgame show. This is Columbus River Dragons Hockey. At Beam, we take pride in being a part of our community, and we're committed to seeing it grow. We continually volunteer with organizations that are making a difference. Together, we are building a better community while building the best internet that exceeds the technology of metropolitan cities. But more importantly, one that connects us all. We want to ensure reliability. So for this reason, we're willing to go the extra mile. We aim to provide the community with high quality internet and cable services because we live here too. Because at Beam, community is not just a place. It's the way we do business. Peppermint season is back at Tim Hortons with even more peppermint flavor. It's the tastiest, mintiest way to cheers the holidays. Tis the season to treat yourself with any $1 medium latte when you order on the app. Only at Tim Hortons. I'm always on the go. But with the Kinetic Credit Union app, Kinetic is always with me. The Kinetic mobile app is virtual banking at its best. With the Kinetic mobile app, I can easily send and receive money make a deposit, pay some bills, and I can even open up a new account, all from my phone. And I can monitor all my accounts in one place, all on the go. The Kinetic Mobile App, energized banking at its best. Kinetic Credit Union, the energy for your dreams. Introducing New Starry Lemon Lime Soda. Music to my ears. You don't have ears. Starry, it's different. Back here in the Pepsi Post Game Show, Tom Callahan here with you to wrap things up. Let's take a look back at that Zelmo zip in out of town scoreboard. River Dragons win here tonight in an absolute barn burner of a game, 8 5. Columbus takes the victory elsewhere in the FPHL tonight. Carolina Thunderbirds 4 3 winners over the Danbury Hat Tricks at home. And so the Thunderbirds pick up an important three points in regulation there. Blue Ridge holds on and actually wins in overtime, I should say. 3-2 over the Baton Rouge Zynico. And uh, the Zynico had to come back to force that one to OT. But, but the battle of the expansion teams goes to Blue Ridge once again. Elmira and Port Huron head-to-head -head at McMoran Arena tonight. And that one has gone final as well. And it's a 3-2 Port Huron Prowlers win there. How about Motor City and Watertown are still going at this point. They're tied at five with about three and a half minutes to go in that third period. In the NHL, the All-Star game today, Team McDavid beat Team McKinnon 4-3 in a shootout in the first round. And Team Matthews 6-5 over Team Hughes also in a shootout to set up a Team Matthews Team McDavid final. Team Matthews wins that clash 7-4. Men's College Hoops Let's get a refresh here. We'll give you the most up-to-date scores going on right now. Number 12, Iowa State leads number 18, Baylor, 64-61. And number 5, Tennessee, 69-58, leading number 10, Kentucky. That one is just into the second half. Six minutes to go in the second half. Number 24, Alabama, 80-51 over Mississippi State. Comfortable lead there. Finals from earlier today, number 1, UConn beat St. John's. Number 9, Marquette beat Georgetown. Texas beat number 25, TCU. San Diego State top number 17, Utah State. Number 8, Kansas defeats number 4, Houston. UCF beats number 23, Oklahoma. Number 15, Texas Tech lost to Cincinnati today. Number 16, Auburn wins over Ole Miss. Number 20, Florida Atlantic takes care of Tulsa. Number 22, BYU wins over West Virginia. And number 3, North Carolina tops number 7, Duke. That's it for our Zelmo Zippin out of town scoreboard. Zelmo Zippin has been fueling life's passions since 1999. And that brings to a close another successful military appreciation night here as the River Dragons 8 5 winners over the Mississippi Sea Wolves. The next time we're going to talk to you, we've got our coaches show coming up on the radio side, 1069 Really Rocks on Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. And then the next game action, Friday and Saturday night, right here at the Columbus Civic Center. Friday night, the Baton Rouge Shattico. Saturday night, Youth Hockey Night, our next family four-pack night. And that will feature these very same 
Mississippi Sea Wolves. Get your tickets now for all remaining River Dragons home games through the Civic Center box office and online at Ticketmaster.com. All right, my thanks to my crew tonight for getting us through this one. It was a bit of a long one, but we made it. And more importantly, three points in regulation for the Columbus River Dragons. 8-5, your final. That's it for the Pepsi Post Game Show. We'll talk to you on Friday night, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Columbus River Dragons Hockey. Thank you for being a part of Columbus River Dragons Hockey. This game was brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Columbus River Dragons. Zelbo Zip-In, the official fuel provider of the River Dragons. Air Force Heating and Air, the official heating and air company of the River Dragons. Country Inn and Suites, the official host hotel of the River Dragons. And by Chick-fil-A Midland, Tim Hortons, Columbus Diagnostic, Shredaway, the Overby Company, Vector Ply, Trivioli's, The Jersey Shop, Beam TV, WYBU Christian Television Network, Troy University, Largeman Dental, BKI Accounting, The Optical Shop, Piggly Wiggly, Sun South John Deere, Wade Cleaners, Houston Clinic, Amber Crombie Bonding, First Franklin Financial, and Old School Barber Shop. This has been a presentation of Ignite Sports and Entertainment. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use is prohibited without the express written consent of Ignite Sports and Entertainment and the Columbus River Dragons. This has been a presentation of the Columbus.